it don't get everything is true but what it don't get i can't use i need money that's what i want that's what i want that's what i want hey okay okay Welcome back to episode I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're excited to be, be back. We're, we're back though. The MBH podcast, Money Buys Happiness. Nice. Brother. Thank you. Thank guys. you for Yo, being welcome, here, man. First of all, man. Thank you for being My here. My guys, yeah, I appreciate it, man. You so much. Bro. Vision, 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 vision. If you a, don't know, now you know, first of all. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long up. time since we all linked up to in like more yeah. of a work setting. I know. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's, it's, usually, it's usually like we're, yeah, we're you, drinking, not that anything's changed. <laughs> yeah, no, but you know, we're just we're just doing it a little bit more responsibly. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Classy. Yeah. It's classier. Exactly. Maybe introduce yourselves for anyone watching that might not know you. Yeah, man. So Funny, actually, this is the funniest part. Everybody thinks my first name is Vijan. Vijan's actually my last name. So, oh, yeah, man. So, my Fun first fact. name, my name's Karin Vision. Um, I own a small company called Vijan Vision that specializes in uh, vintage luxury eyewear. And I kind of go ahead and put my own little spin on it, man. Like, I put it a little bit more fresh. I make new colors for it. And yeah, this is kind of where we've gotten now. It's nope. was started a small side project mm. and now is just kind of. Turned into my full time, like every day. So sick. Yeah, man. Eat, sleep, and breathe it at this point. Yeah, of course. It's crazy, <laughs> yeah. man. I've seen, uh, like, bro, it's been about maybe a year since I first met you, man. And yep. the progression is real, dude. Like, I, Thank I you, you know, you've seen your stuff on Drake, uh, on, on tons of guys. Yeah. Who, who's who's rocked the stuff? Um, it's crazy. Like, it actually all started with uh, Fred Van Vliet. He was Amazing. the first yes, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Huge. So I think, like, Maybe the year before I got really deep into it, um, you know, social media, we all know the power of, course, of it, right? Of so course. I figured, you know what? Like, I believe I have a good product. It looks nice. Let me just reach out to the guy. Yeah. So I, honestly, man, I just liked a couple of his pictures, DM'd him, just like pure thought movement. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. just yeah. shot my shot. I had to shoot my, to shoot my shot. Let's yeah. go. Cool. Um, and before I knew it, he had like followed me back. But like, wow. keep in mind, bro, he like back then it was like was, maybe 40, 50,000 followers. Yeah, it was smaller. It, it, right. Yeah. So it, it wasn't I, like as big. Yeah. Exactly. A little bit more accessible. Yeah. Um, but he hit me up and he's like, yeah, like I'll be out of town for a bit. This was like coming to just before their season started. Yeah. Um, and eventually we linked up. I met him at his, he was living at a condo downtown at the time, linked up. He bought a bunch of stuff, like seven, eight frames. Wow. And then we just kind of like started the relationship from there. But what that told me was, yo, I could like really go hard with this. Yeah. And then, yeah, man, I ended up getting like Baca, uh, Popcon, uh, shout out to my boy Cans. Oh, like Cans is a legend. Yeah, so he yeah. really, really helped me out, kind of oh, guide me and stuff like that amazing. for those guys. Um, who else? Baka, Popcon. Uh, recently, I just did something with Nav. So wow. that was kind of like on That's, my bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> like I had yeah, to, you yeah, know, yeah, for all the brown yeah, boys, yeah, you know, yeah. like, so I did that. Um, Serge Ibaka, I just did this year. Yeah, yes. Super, super nice. Come Humble on. guy, man. Yeah, so, I mean, like, yeah these, it was are these, dope. Are these connections that are coming from getting another, like, is Van Fleet helping you get a baka or did you, is it like you see what i'm saying was it a domino um, effect was it you're doing different so, things per person i'm, I'm still kind of like well for that particular relationship i'm still a little bit in the dark on it i really don't know how <laughs> yeah. baka came across my profile okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um like i had i i had replied to a story he posted mm -hmm. just with like some emojis and then sure. he hit me back i was wow. like in a cab coming back from a raptor i was just about to, yeah. yeah. was about to ask you yeah like, yo, these guys just hitting you in the dm yeah like, yo hook me up it, it was up. it was really random like I, I was at a game, uh, Philly and Toronto, and Raptors won, killed it. Surge like posted something on his story, so yeah. I just figured, yo, I'm gonna. What's the word? They may never see. Yeah, you. yeah. Or or what? shoot my shot. Yeah, shoot my shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. So what I'm trying to get at is always shoot your shot. <laughs> of course, you know of course, what I mean? Yeah. It's true. It's true. Um, so when I did that, yeah, bro, he just he hit me back pretty quickly, and like within two days, went over to his crib. We yeah. got to link up and yeah. uh, have some good conversation too. Like he's just these guys are all really, really like chill, humble. Yeah. Just got to kind of approach them the right way. Of but course. yeah, for him, I don't know, but. The OVO guys, that was something where like, I kind of just was friends with a couple of them already. Yeah. And like just a great guy overall. Um, and he introduced me to a bunch of other people. Nice. So that kind of like solidified me a bit so that other guys who were ready they to shop with me, too. exactly, yeah. right? So they, they trusted. Can't, can't said it's all good. 
Okay, Basically. we trust them too. We trust them exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's kind of how like that relationship snowballed and Dope. eventually led to getting glasses to Drake, which was yeah. the craziest. Yeah. You know, like yeah. that must have been the wild, the most wild thing. Yeah, like I, you know, the Drake, like for a lot of us, you know, you see, like he's the biggest star in the world. Okay, yeah, yeah. some people may aren't whatever, yeah, but yeah. to me, no, like, he is, you know, he he's, is, yeah, he, he is, is, he is, he is, he is. Massive. right? He's to me, he's the biggest star in the world, yeah. and so. Oh. Cans and Charlie B also like another like huge huge mentor for me just great people you know yeah. so with the help of the two of them eventually glasses got to Drake and like that blew my mind I was just like sitting at my cousin's uh, at my cousin's crib just like having a drink or whatever and Drake posts a video like on his IG story and I see the glasses I was like yo they're I'm like yo is that oh, the that's right how you one found out? nobody told me anything oh, shit, yeah okay. I was genuine I think I have like a picture on my yeah. phone of like what my reaction was when I saw it <laughs> and um yeah bro I my jaws dropped he was yeah. wearing a pair of like vintage Cartier that had diamonds in it that we did yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. with my homie like Xander. We did this project together and um, yeah, like I couldn't believe it, man. Yeah. It just, that's wild, it's crazy. It, it, it all blew my mind. A feeling. Kind of. Yeah, but it's crazy how you don't even told you, you just like, felt, you see it on the ground. You're yeah, like, it, and that, that's, that was, that caught me off guard. I didn't know how to yeah. react. I was like, I yo, how really do well. I push this? Like, how do I promo this? Cause yeah. you know, like, with those guys, you're not getting a tag in anything. You yeah. know what I mean? 100%. Like, but it's up to you to make your product unique enough or your offering unique enough that anybody who could see it can trace it right back to you exactly so how many people probably went to the to the comments after like yo yeah where, no. where, where the fuck did he get those glasses from in this case is there yo, we jump, we jump, we jump. <laughs> i literally went i was i was liking and replying to so many yeah, comments for sure yeah and this was, sales direct sales that's what it is man yeah. like i mean sure it might be annoying to some people mm. but hey right. it's like yo i'm yeah. making my living off of it you of know course. so i'm a hustle that's yeah, it. And, and facts. like that that kind of differentiates you from from different companies, I guess, or brands in your industry, you know? So yeah. that's something I want to talk about because you have like a very unique product to me because I don't yeah. know many brands that have this kind of quality and the Thank brands you, involved and the the social aspect involved. And then yeah. you who are, you're a great people person and, and you're a nice guy and, and, and you work hard, right? So yeah. you have all those aspects. Obviously, you're already different to me, right? Mm. But what, what do you try and do? to try and say, okay, we're not these, these guys, we're not these guys, because some people may never meet you in your For life. Sure. So they don't know that that part of it, right? I look yeah. at these glasses, I, I feel like you're with me. You know what I mean? so, <laughs> we're connected through exactly. the lenses, so you know, we're connected. Who's just, you're introducing just online. Yeah. And they'll never meet you maybe, but they, you yeah. have to portray the same kind of brand online, right? So exactly. how do you go about doing that with your competitors? Um, so I think the biggest thing is that because I'm not necessarily like a large company yet, there's still a lot of one-on-one -on -one interactions that I can have with people who are, you know, just at a, somebody asking a question yeah. or somebody who eventually becomes a consumer. So I think that's to my advantage right now is just the size of the yeah. company. Yeah. So I can naturally, can I can dedicate the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're hands on about it. I guess you're it, in person as much as exactly. possible. Exactly. But then obviously, you know, given the current conditions, right? Yeah. In person is now changed completely, of course. right? Yeah. So yeah. you rely on your e-commerce a lot more. So. Yeah. To what you're saying about you know how important it is to kind of still convey that brand confidence yeah. it's what i kind of do across like all of my social media exactly. platforms yeah. so nice. at first i was like i don't want to say reluctant but i was hesitant to like have myself mm -hmm. on my social media yeah. as much as i do a lot like, of people a lot of people are in that position right yeah. you know and i saw you guys talking about it you know yeah. how there's a lot of people who are just they don't just really want to put themselves out they're, there they're, they're really private or they're right? comparing themselves to other people exactly yeah. but what i saw in that is like yo, if i put myself out there more even if i'm not like in the room with you one on one, like yeah. you still kind of understand who I am as a person of on yeah. a consistent basis. Though, exactly. Too, right? exactly. And consistency is the biggest thing. Right. So like I think I kept like a tally once. I think yeah. I went like four and a half months straight without uh, sorry, four, four and a half months straight posting stories. Amazing. Like there was never a day where that's I didn't huge, have a story man, that's yeah, huge. on my on IG. That. Huge on that, right? right? It's unreal. Because that's huge. it's, it's yeah. easy content to interact with, right? Yeah. So I think right now that's like my biggest advantage is I have the time, mm -hmm. especially and just size of the company. Of course. As things grow and they do get bigger, it's that. I want to make sure that that initial sort of like comfort that I created with people can yeah. stay there and of it just course. and it's synonymous with the brand. Yeah. So if you think Vision Vision you're not just thinking glasses, you thought customer service too. Yeah. And like and that goes yeah. with the content you're posting, the team that you have. Your exactly. team should just be like mini you's going around, you know, and, and, and pretty much they have to go meet up with Van Fleet. He should feel the same as if exactly, maybe not exactly the same because it's always tough, but, but close still enough. Feel that same feeling that they enjoyed, right? And uh, while working so with you, what, what, yeah. what I'm curious is how now has like has been has it been a smooth transition 
for you in terms oh. of like kind of getting people used to like the e-commerce Online side of it? Yeah. yeah, because you have been so kind of personable and attached yeah. to it. I'm definitely still, I, I like, I'll be one to admit, like I'm definitely still struggling with it yeah. a bit yeah, just sure. because like it was so focused on that one-to-one interaction. Yeah, you know? it's glasses too, right? People want to touch them, try them on. It, exactly. And, like and, and I mean like the other thing to be completely honest, like it's not in your average price point either. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You yeah. are paying a premium. It's a quality product. product. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so naturally quality. you should get the full service with it. Um, so I'm still having some difficulties with it, but I think like the main thing that I just have to to work towards like with that is just getting them to, you know, it, giving them a more interactive experience online. So yeah. maybe better product photos yeah. or maybe implement something onto the website that allows them to see how it may fit their face. You know, yeah. like there's just- there's or what so, they sure. see through the lens or stuff like that. Exactly, right? Yeah. Like there's so many innovations with technology these days that you can find a way to yeah. like- yeah. be there without be being there with it. And, yeah. then, and then even, yeah. even in terms of just the the whole the whole piece of having you actually attached to the brand is just keep up those those, those insta vids you know what yeah. I mean? having those stories up and that's where the people are like okay i still feel connected to it exactly right? they kind of just know who you are Plus, yeah. right like i, I want to know who i'm shopping with especially like you know i think about this like jewelry right like mm. You want to create a relationship with your jeweler because you know you want that's them a to. Long, that's like a long. It's a long lasting thing, yeah, right? Yeah. And you're wearing this on your face, right? It's not yeah. like a chain where you of can course. just tuck it in your shirt yeah, or anything yeah. like that. Of you course. know, like you you're wearing it, people are gonna see it. Yeah, it's on your face. It's on your face, you know right? right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think that was that's like the main like takeaway is like create a good relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean with the people. No, of course, hundred percent. And like something I also want to talk about with you is is the kind of content you have because you have a mix of so much different content, right? Mm -hmm. And we always stress that importance so much because let's say for you, you're posting the same product shot every day in the same, it's in the same setting, it's in the same angle. People are going to get bored of that and you know that from experience probably. Oh yeah, for right? sure. But you have so much content probably in the safe, ready to go with all these yeah. influencers and all these people who have worn it and all these different music videos that you're in and, and yep. the mix of content, right? So, I mean, talk a little bit about that because I think people kind of forget that they're like, I'm consistent, I'm posting, but then, okay, the second part is what are you, what are you posting? Right, like you never want your content to get stagnant, yeah. right? Like anytime I post something, I go back, like I have I have a couple separate accounts just because of a fiasco that yeah. happened yeah, a few yeah, months yeah, ago, yeah, right? Um, so cybersecurity is very important. That's, <laughs> please, very, very important, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I had a, I have another account and what I'll do is when I post content, I'll go back to that other, like I'll log into that other account and I'll yeah. go to my proper business page and I'll look at it. And if I swipe through it, then chances are everybody else is gonna do course, it too, right? Course, yeah. You can't be like emotionally attached to content yeah. at 100%. all. Yeah. The dumbest thing, right? So if it's something that doesn't catch my eye, I'm like, all right, let's tweak it and let's do something different. Because yeah. I'll always have one idea in my head and yeah. then it goes somewhere else. But variety of content is definitely important because yeah, you're just gonna tap through it. Like people consume content so rapidly these days. Put something different. Like I, 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 I screwed up. Like I, I literally was sponsoring ads, but I had sponsored ads of the same sort of content and it never really oh, went anywhere. Like yeah. I could watch like the trend in clicks and how it yeah. went down, down with this campaign versus yeah. that campaign. Yeah. True. It's, so. it's really important. And that's, that's going back to everything on the business side too. Like you working with, let's say these influencers, these bigger people, right? Like that takes a lot of your time. And for sure, sometimes it's like you're, you're, you're donating your time, you're donating your product. Right. And yeah. I think that's an important part too. A lot of people think that it's just starting up. Yeah. It, it's 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 difficult to make relationships, but because they don't want to take those steps, yeah. And and you have to be a certain type of person to know you have to take it. Like you've been doing it for a while, and you're still taking those steps for sure, right? So for sure. it's important, and, and that's something that we always. I, go I, I think it, that that's the whole brand piece to it, yeah. right? Just uh, like you're putting in a lot of time. Yeah, man. Keep, probably giving away some free product. A lot, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. But you're yeah. building the brand, right? And 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 you know, you're however many years you're into it now, and you're still doing it. Exactly. I mean, that's huge, man. And that and that's just focusing on key, you, you know your key still areas on, and stuff. Yeah, and you're just, you never you're know just, how, how people think too, right? Like someone could just say, yeah. "Oh, I just saw Van Fleetwood. That's why I won it." That could be the only reason why. And I have no and problems with that. Yeah. And you're, and you're like, hey, God, like that's up. awesome. Thank God I took four hours, hours out of my day to go talk to him and give him these glasses. Like right? that, that was worth it. Now it right? was. It, it's all a part of the process, right? Yeah. Like I, I think with any kind of business you get in, obviously there's sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Yes, time is sacrifice, money is sacrifice, but you got to sacrifice product too. Yeah, I remember talking to one of my boys he's um he's a producer now and he works kind of like closely with the like the umbrella group like Tory Lanes and those nice, guys nice. um and he said he's like bro before i even like 
somebody looked at me like, I've probably given away like 10,000 free beats, yeah. 5,000 free yeah. beats I gave away, percent. right? Yeah. And then I thought about it too. And like, when you reflect on it, bro, I've given away so much merchandise, yeah. but like the long-term benefit that of came course. with it or the relationship yeah. that was created from it. And it was not from a place of like, I gave you something, so you give me something. Yeah. I just genuinely believed in the relationship, yeah. Yeah. right? You invested in the relationship. Exactly. That's what you did. You invested in the relationship where, hey man, you've probably given a lot of shit away for free. That turned into nothing. Never turned into another yeah. sale, another and, and dollar. Not yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes, though, man. Yeah. That's how it goes. Like it, it's a, uh, it's a give and take thing, and and, yeah. you're, and and you're just trying to invest in who you think can uh, help propel you more, right? Exactly. Yeah. And you never it's really know. Game. Like you never really know no, unless never know. unless I try it, right? Exactly. Like yeah, and even that too. It's not like you're looking at it the next week and saying, "Oh, did I get any sales from?" That Baca, one person Baca wearing it. Shit. No, no, I did it. Damn it! Damn, I failed yeah. now. You yeah. know, yeah. like at it after like two years and saying, "Yeah, that stuff works," because like. I know it works. Like it it's just, long term too, yeah. right? Because like, exactly. yeah, sure. I, I gave it to that guy for free. He wore them. I didn't see a sale the next day that he posted the pic. Yeah. But you know, ten of his boys hit me up over the last two years, and they've yeah. all copped two glasses or even one pair, right? Yeah. And, and that's how it goes. It, it, it's like looking at it uh, again. Like we're we're all so like focused on just that, like instant gratification. Yeah, right. I now. need it now. You yeah. know, Amazon Prime ships before <laughs> yeah. the end of the day. Like I'll get it before the end of the day because yeah. that's like naturally how consumers yeah. are. That's yeah. they're, yeah. they're they're driven that of course, way, right? Of course. So for me, it's like. At first I was like that because I was still working a nine to five for a minute, man. Yeah. Like I only quit my nine to five and like lad, what we're 20, 2019. I was say, how I long wow. into it? Like yeah. how long into this uh, did you say, okay, cool. Now it's time for me to like drop my um, job and go straight up into this. Yeah, man. It was actually, it was, it was a while. It was like two years of working a full time nine to five yeah. and then this, wow. um, just because the other thing is, right? So like my family has been in the industry for a very long time, yeah, right? Yeah. So my dad's been an optician for like 51 years, give or take. Wow. And then been in high-end optical for about 45, 46 years with his like wow. his own locations. Jeez, but he was like, he, he's very, you know, how we all have like immigrant parents and yeah. their like mentality is like, you got to really work for what you want, right? I can't just 100%. give it to you. I did it. Why yeah. can't you, right? Yeah, yeah. So with my dad, like totally resources and like relationships were there, but he's like, prove to me you can actually do this. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna just hand you, a, you know, a, a blank check and okay, go buy yeah, it. Like, yeah. <laughs> years for this. Yeah, yeah, like it never worked like yeah. that. So yeah, I, I maintained that like nine to five for like two years while doing this on the side. Um, at one point, man, I was working a job during the day from 11 to six, and then I would work an overnight from midnight to 6 a.m. And I Come did that on. for like three, grind, four, five man. months. Yeah, grind. yeah, just because I was like, I got to pay for this somehow, right? Yeah. If I want to buy this inventory, I got to do it. Mm. But in hindsight, it was a blessing because all those overnight shifts I spent yeah. just like learning about the product, like learning what a lifestyle product yeah. is. How do you sell a lifestyle product, yeah. you know? And obviously got a lot of help along the way. But yeah, man, two years. And then it was funny. The day that I went to go link up with Baca and PopCon, I woke up the next morning and I was fired. So I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even, even volu- yeah, I didn't even voluntarily leave. Yeah. I just woke up the next day and I knew something was going to happen because yeah. like I was already so mentally checked out from the place yeah, at that just point. Yeah, about this the whole time. Yeah. About other things. And to be quite honest with you, man, like I was making a lot more money at that nine to five than I did for the next six months of my own business. Yeah, but sure, like yeah. sanity, holy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's worth yeah. more. It counts for a lot. But so it's yeah, amazing, they man. they called me. They're like, uh, yeah, we we don't need you to come back tomorrow. I'm like, all right, let's yeah. get it. Glasses, it. it is. I'm in it. <laughs> you know, jeez, man. I mean, like that's that's the grind, though. That's what it is, right? And, and yeah. you're working a job, and you're trying to support your dream. Yep. To the point where you're like, okay, let's keep dreaming, then. Exactly. Like, job. I just said dreaming. I'm gonna just run with it. Like, yeah, fuck. Yeah, like at that point, I was like fuck work because what I made last night was more than I would have made working 40 hours here. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, if I can just do this twice or three times, four times, five times in a week. And that's how it starts. And that's how it started. Right. So, okay. So what's, what's the, what's the goal? Like what's the vision? No, no pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> what's, yeah. the, what's the vision for real, like for, for the brand and, and what, what do you, what do you see for it in the next, you know, five to 10 years? Um, so, I mean, right now the product that we have is all, it's all original vintage, right? Yeah. So, so it's dead stock sourced from their time periods and whatnot, but Ideally, what you want to do to scale the business is get into manufacturing. Cool. So ideally, I want to actually start making my own line of frames. So mm, I'll design dope. them like right from the ground up. Um, and at that point, you can scale it and make it like a more self-sustainable business. Yeah. So that's what I want to do. I want to get into manufacturing and then just kind of grow the business Amazing. to the point where it'll be all almost all online. Yeah. 
and then kind of just explore other things. Yeah. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, like glasses, like this is dope and everybody will always love them. But mm -hmm. I would also love to try my hand at other things while this is running too. Of course, yeah, man, 100%. You know, it's just cool. like because of relationships you make yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. So. And I'm sure there's many things that you want to try out and say like, oh, I learned all these things from doing this. Yeah. Maybe I can apply them to this or maybe I just want to try something new. Right. While this is running. Of while course. Yeah. that's running. It's, and yeah. this normal. is still like, it's passion, right? Like I of love course. this stuff. hundred percent. You know, everybody you loves to, looking you good. To, you have to, yeah. Right? Yeah, it's a real thing, man. Like uh, even like a, uh, like a lot of people look at it and say, hey, I start one business, I'm here for life. I gotta sit, like this is gonna be the only thing I ever do. And yeah. it's like, no, it's not like that. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. get locked into that for forever, like, yeah. you know, or stay like that forever. Yeah. It, it, it is about taking risks. And you know, I, I do have to say, like I am fortunate enough that I could have, I was able to take certain risks mm -hmm. early on and yeah. still am able to of take course. certain risks. Other people can't necessarily do it, but you can sort of like work ways to like hedge your risks or you know what I mean? Yeah. Or yeah. offset them a little bit so you can still go ahead and of take course. them. You know what I when mean? You're working, you're putting in a couple hours at night for your for sure. For your hopeful dream and, and yeah, yeah you, you keep doing it, right? Like you have yeah. to, th that's the point. You have to just keep going at it. Right? And, and it's also like, I, I'll never forget, like I learned this in a in an economics class when I was still in university and it, it was my prof talking about like everybody has an anchor point, right? So. If my anchor point is going to the casino and I have to win 10 grand, if I don't, my night sucks. Yeah. And you go with another guy and his was like, hey, if I win any money, this is an awesome night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guy's going to come out of the casino with $5,000. Person one is going to be pissed with that. Yeah. Other guy's going to be happy with 10 bucks. It's yeah. just what you want in life, yeah. right? Yeah. It's perspective. Yeah. It's what you want in Amazing. life. So there are people out there who's like, they're perfectly happy, you know, yeah. nine to five, nine five day cool job. It's normal. Yeah. 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 And at the end, look, some of those people right now in the times that we're in are the absolute most essential people that we need. <laughs> yeah. So you can yeah. never knock them. Ever? We, we need everyone. We need every kind yeah, of person. Yeah, that's how the eco, yeah. like that's how an yeah. economic system is going to work. Of you course. need everybody. For, yeah. for you, for you, like, were, uh, like, were you, did, like, would you say that you were always kind of in that entrepreneurial mindset, or did that kind of come for you like at a later time? Because like, I know for like for myself, like, I, I knew like from like early, like I'm talking like elementary school that like I was going to do my own thing. Like, yeah. From an early age, I, I could tell. So I'm just curious for you, was, yeah. was it like that? Like I, I, Similar, okay. similar. Maybe not as early on a, as then, but it was definitely always like a drive in me to like kind of do my own thing. Yeah. So I was uh, maybe like grade nine or something. There was yeah. a shop that had opened up around like our area and uh, he was getting like early release Jordans and like early release Air Forces yeah. and stuff. So okay, I would okay. go and like, I worked a paper route and shit. So <laughs> whatever little cash you save up, I'd go, I'd be like, yo bro, like let's do something. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> I would go and I'd sell these sneakers at school. Or like, if you ever needed a phone, you yeah. call like, call Karin, like he has a phone, he'll yeah. get it for you. Or yeah, you, need, yeah. you know, so yeah, I always yeah. was like buying, selling, flipping. Like grind mindset pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I was also surrounded by it, man. Like my one, obviously, you know, like my dad yeah. naturally is an entrepreneur, yeah. but then all of my like cousins, my older cousins, my uncles, like yeah. on my dad's side, they've all kind of like delved into that entrepreneurial world, whether yeah. they own yeah, wholesale yeah. businesses, shipping companies, whatever it is. Of course. It's you're just surrounded by it. So for you sure. kind of become a product it's of that environment, environment right? That was a lie. Yeah. It's, it's, especially for an entrepreneur. It's exactly. Like you were growing up doing it somehow, whether it's like, like you said, flipping phones or flipping it, shoes, whatever. Yeah. You, you were doing it. You, and, and you didn't the, even know you were doing it though. You were just like, I like But you did this. it. Yeah. It's amazing. Right? Cause you don't take time to like really like go that far Look back and reflect. I was like, yo, fuck it. I was just selling some shoes on like Facebook groups yeah. and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Early, but it's early, like early. early. But then they're like, you're like, oh shit, that's taking advantage of, of supply and demand. Yeah. Like this is yes. what they try to teach it's you in early school. On, yeah. bro. You, yeah. you do it naturally. It comes naturally. I yeah. Feel like. You, you, you look can't back see. on it now and you're like, damn, I'm, I've been doing this. Right? Yeah. And then and then it's the same. Make stories like this so much cooler. I'm like, yeah. fuck you. I did set it's the groundwork cool you, for this. You look back. It's really cool when you look back on it yeah. and recount those things it, because when you just think of them really quickly, you're like, oh, like, oh, I was just doing something. I was just trying to make money. But you, you really think about it, you're like, damn, I was fucking an entrepreneur yeah. in grade eight. You, you found a way. You're yeah. like, hey, I'm, I'll, instead of my paper route, I'm going to flip this and I'll make yeah. some money, you know? Yeah. And it's crazy. that's just what I maintained. Or work the paper route, get that money, buy those, flip right? those. Yeah, just, just always that. That's that's what what I, I guess like, like from, from a family perspective, like always supportive of what you were doing. Like, like Yeah, like my dad, my dad was definitely super supportive because... My, my dad and my mom both had different views on it. Like sure. naturally my dad is going to be super happy because, hey, you're getting into the family business. Da yeah. Dads yeah. love that. Love you, know, yeah. you don't that's care. My that's my yeah, that's my son. Yeah, that's <laughs> my son. <laughs> you know, I, I love this guy. That's yeah. my son. Yeah. You know, and my dad doesn't have a fucking accent. Yeah. I don't know why I did <laughs> that. But, you know, <laughs> um, so he was super supportive of it. But yeah. my mom comes from a different background. My mom, like her family, they were like refugees from Trinidad that came here. Um, their whole life, like growing up, it, it was very just kind of like you do what you need to do to feed yourself right yeah. so it was very different economic situation so 
for my mom, she kind of saw it as, you know, you should stay with a nine to five. You should get like, there's security in yeah, it, right? Yeah. Like, look, you're getting good money, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But to me, I was like, I was like, I totally understood where she was coming from. Again, yeah. you know, you learn things with life experiences. But for me, I was like, look, I, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to go for it. So my mom kind of was like weird about it at first. Yeah. She was like, I don't know if he's going to be able to do this. Like he's never home. This kid never sleep. Like what's going yeah. on, whatever. But now that it like, it yeah, started like, yeah. like when I could show yeah. her, like, you know, like, or I come yeah. home and I'm like, look, like I have an invoice for, you know, 10 grand from this customer, yeah. for example. It's like, wow, you know, you, you know okay. what you're doing. Exactly. Like, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Well, I, it's I, like, I, hard work. It's not really even about the industry. You could have went any industry. Anywhere. And, just and what, age, what age was that for you when you're like, yeah, I'm taking this job. Like, this is it. Um, Like for that, I think what, how old I'm. That was probably like when I was like 21, 22 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's early, man. That's early. Yeah. That's very early. That's when I was like, yo, I'm just going to do this, you yeah. know? And that's when I started hustling. Well, I'm still working, but like, yeah. so yeah, what? I, I was 24 when I really went all well, into like, okay, it. I quit my nine to five this morning. Yeah. Which was young yeah, too. Yeah, when which I fired still, my which ass. Which is still very yeah. young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. like, no, I just, like, I just turned 26 and I just, like, I just have a lot of plans, you know? I want to do a lot of cool shit with the time that I have. Like, I, you know, everybody's here for a certain amount of time. So of I just want to do as much cool shit as I can while Definitely. I'm here meet as many cool people as and i can enjoy it man like enjoy it yeah. that's the biggest piece of it at the end of the day like yeah, yeah you make the money the money comes and the money goes for sure uh, but when you enjoy what you're doing and i'm sure you can you'll preach this a million times yeah you enjoy yeah. what you're doing like the money almost feels like nothing it used to point. sound so corny though like when I people know. would tell I know, you that when shit, you hear that yeah it's like, like oh, do what you love man the yeah, money yeah, is gonna yeah, follow sure, you're yeah. like yeah all right man. Yeah, for whatever. sure there's no fucking money where's it coming from i'm like it all sit here this blood sucking job will pay you 30 bucks an hour that's where the money I'm is. there. I'm there. I need yeah. it. But I, like, with you this, it. you're feeling it now. Yeah. Though. You're feeling it now. Yeah. Right? And my cousin always told me that because he used to work same thing nine to five before he jumped into like something more entrepreneurial. And he said the same thing. He's like, bro, like when you're happy with what you're doing, he's like, it sounds stupid. It's but cliche. Just trust like me. it's so cliche, yeah. but it, it's yeah. real. It's real. And like I hope that for like all of my homies, like yeah. all of my boys that are like working, doing so, whether they're not even if, if they said even fuck it, they don't want to do something on their own. I just like hope that all of my friends can even see what I'm doing and be like, look, he actually like valued Inspired. like sanity, yeah. happiness, and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. that, and chase that of too. Course. You know, don't just get caught up in the money. Of course, yeah. right? When we right? were younger, we're like, oh, I want to be a professional soccer player, a doctor. They make so much money, and right? Just, yeah. And now it's just like that. No, that's not the way it goes. No, and you and like, to, I, you have to enjoy what you're doing, right? And for the longest time, right? Like that's just, I guess, how society frames course, it, right? Like go. you know, go to school, get yeah. a good job, yeah. get a good pay, you make as much money as yeah. And you're you're made to think that's what you should do, should be doing, or that's the only way. Right? Exactly, but I think yeah. now, I think now, even like at a younger age, like now, people, kids, yeah, kids are realize. kids are starting to understand, or be they're being taught earlier. Like, sure. hey, th this is another route outside of high school, outside of uh, uh, traditional university. schooling, university. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there, there, there are other routes, and I think that's important, right? Like, I think maybe I'm I'm 24, so I think just at my point in high school, it was slowly starting to transition where the teachers were like kind right. of accepting like, hey, this kid's trying to do something. And it was becoming more normal for the kids yeah. to have a little bit of like freedom with what yeah. they were doing, yeah. right? Well, and then it's like you were saying like, oh, your parents are like, oh, this kid's never coming home. Like what the hell is he up to? Yeah. And it's like, yo, I'm, like, I'm, I'm trust hustling. Me, I'm, like I'm building yeah, something. Yeah, like, like I'm, like, I'm really hustling. building something. It, it, and if that means me just having to interact with a group of people for one yeah. night or two nights or three nights, it, I'm doing it for a reason. It's not because I'm doing it just to just to hang chill. out. Like, yeah, like, yeah. There's, there's a, a there's a benefit what there, I'm doing. But exactly. Methods of the madness, right? Yeah, man, like I'll yeah, always yeah. have a reason for why I didn't come home that night or why like <laughs> you know I'm just I like, like, I, didn't think I, did. I was like, Method yo, I was I was, true. I was just hustling. Like yeah. that's just how it is. And like, yo, I got a lot of respect for like the other like real hustlers that are out there, like guys doing their own thing. Like, yo, oh, I, yeah. I see like I watched my cousin grow a company from you know hundred thousand dollars a year to a million and a half it yeah. took him a long time to yeah, do it but i watched yeah. him do it and yeah. i was like yo what's the difference here you know yeah. like maybe it might take me longer to hit the numbers yeah. but essentially the sauce is the same the of process course. is it's all you know, the same bro and, and all for the him, same. So i'm sure after the second third year of him raising those uh getting getting more profits and more mm -hmm. revenue he stopped thinking about the money at that point he's like let's just see how much like how yeah because, make this because you know because you know the money is going to come in yeah. now every once you see that trajectory you know money is coming yeah. in and you know it's good but how do i make this like the sickest experience exactly. now like, how do i enjoy yeah. all this money you, yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like i think so it was cool it was cool to see it and i was like yo let me get on my grind get on my shit <laughs> as, Go, a, I, as a kid were you like were you someone 
like as you were saying, you were talking earlier about, and I want to go back to on the social media yeah. aspect. Mm-hmm. You were saying like, uh, you know, you started putting your face out there. You started attaching your face to the brand. Like, yeah. were, were you somebody that thought you'd ever do that? Like, you know, when, when you were younger, because you know, like in the in the class, it was like, oh, yeah. one kid is out, outgoing, or some I'll, kids are outgoing. Like, yeah, it was. Ju- I was pretty. I was actually a really outgoing kid, man. Okay, like, good. Yeah, like yeah, I was so always perfect. like in the all the school plays and like mm. class yeah, shit, yeah. like presentations. Like, I love doing presentations. Like, I love speaking yeah. and stuff like that. So. Did I ever think that, yeah, maybe my face would be attached to a brand? Not really, but I did at some point hope that, hey, like I'm a pretty animated person at yeah, times. Like yeah. I wonder where this could go. Of and course. and I never like let that part of me die or like that side of my personality get like molded into something yeah, else. Like yeah. I'm still like a fucking weirdo sometimes. <laughs> I still do yeah, like yeah. just random shit, yeah, yeah. you know, but it keeps you grounded. But, 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 but that has only, I guess, and I would imagine only benefited the brand and benefited. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely benefited. And, and because too, like, it's it's cool being in an age now where like so much more is like a little bit more socially acceptable. Yeah. Like you know, at one point, bro, you would never see a business owner rolling a backwood, yeah, yeah. two yeah, grams yeah. to the face on yeah. like IG live yeah. fixing a Cartier. <laughs> like no man, that doesn't yeah. happen. But yeah. fuck it, yeah. I do it now. So what are you trying to say? <laughs> you, you try to roll up. A, <laughs> I mean, like yo, I'm never, I'm never, I'm making, I'm making like a cool little like project in my basement right yeah. now. So I always like when I buy backwards, I always buy like the like the different like exotic flavors or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna keep all of the wrappers and I'm just gonna lay them and I'm gonna put them into like a picture frame Lovely, and just have like some stoner yeah. art, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This nice little mache of all of them. Exactly and right, and like the weed bags and yeah. stuff. No, but I know what you're saying. It's it's a lot more is acceptable nowadays. Yeah, right? yeah. Even, way even more. Just with us, like I'm sure that if you look back two years ago compared to the stuff that you would post today it's like yeah. holy shit that's a huge difference like, it, you know it, it is yeah like you know how uh, Instagram on your story shows you what you had posted two years ago yeah, or whatever like the archive yeah. thing right yeah. so it came up and I was like going through them and I just watched like again just the evolution of how it was posted and just yeah. like the risks like more risky posts yeah. you know don't be so like corporate about it don't think too much about it yeah don't yeah. Think, like, Gary V says doing. that he says yeah. don't yeah. think just put the shit out well you gotta think about it you're gonna post today and by yeah. tomorrow everyone already forgot so don't worry exactly. Exactly. It's not a big deal. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Right? So it's just catching them in that moment, right? And, yeah. and to be consistent with it, you can't care too much about yeah. every little thing in that picture, right? I know yeah. staying on brand is very important, but you could stay on brand and, and come up with so many different animations, sure. graphics, fucking anything, right? For sure. Because so, like while consistency, I think, is like beneficial to a yeah. business, it can also like stifle a business yeah. or suffocate a business, right? Because like, yeah. say what, what you said, right? It, yeah. I can be consistent, but if you're consistently posting the same shit, yeah. then, you get then bored. Don't, what the fuck's don't, be yeah. don't be consistent. Do something yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you know yeah. what I yeah, mean? But that also takes you being smart enough to be like, hey, how are they reacting to it? You're going to think about yeah. the people that are following Vision Vision, okay. My what demographic. do they like seeing? Yeah, yeah. what do they yeah. like seeing, right? So, and yeah. you know that over time from posting so much because you yep. can go look back at them you, and say- There's actual like hard numbers there that'll tell which you is what works and what doesn't, from right? It's the best ago, part. Three years ago, right? Yeah. When, I guess when they implemented that archive, IG right? business so, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, so, yeah. It's crazy and it's it's so important that that you're taking those steps right because yeah. a lot of people are just like oh i don't want to attach myself but you attach yourself to the brand now your whole network knows about your brand exactly and like the way i saw it too is <laughs> that if i'm the familiar fra- uh, familiar face with the brand too it doesn't just mean glasses yeah. like if i came to you and i stayed in a niche of high-end products yeah, yeah. you would already have faith in of me course. you yeah. know what i mean i'm not saying that yeah i could go jump into real estate and i would be super successful yeah. right away but you build a network off of one thing and you can kind of thrive in exactly. other places too, it's, right? It's them, it's it's them, just, it's it's them remembering you yeah. for a certain thing. And if I'm that's sure high quality like, products, they're like, yeah. okay, any other high quality product. Yeah. This guy, I can this trust guy came them with to me this. with some so that, high quality. Say, if you came to them with some some chains now and some bracelets, they'd be like, yeah, it's it's Dijon, right? So it's the yeah. same, or like, same quality. I always wanted to, like, like I have a the huge some pack. fucking wine out here, no? Yeah, yeah let's get it, bro. Wait, we <laughs> got another say, like, Oh, this is, here, this is yeah, the bottle yeah. I brought for you yeah. guys, you know? Yeah, listen, it was so junk. I like, I like left and then right before I went to the post office, I was like, fuck, I gotta go back and get this wine for these guys. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it, oh, you know? I'm on an empty stomach right now. Me, same, same. This is making me, liquid carbs. This is making me go right now. My cousin always, like, we always, like, when the pandemic and shit first started, man, like, day drinking was so normal yeah. my cousin would come over he's like yo i got breakfast and he'd hand me a fucking beer i was like all right, right man nothing, no beer. just straight beer he's like you're gonna drink your toast this morning and i'm Done. like all right man, this works let's do it you know yeah and then that's how it went but i love drinking on empty stomach yo you know you know what i want to ask you because we i mean we try to ask everybody on the show yeah. sometimes we forget but the term money buys happiness okay mm-hmm. What like what, what is that? What does that mean to you? If I gave it to you in that, it, it just money buys happiness. Yeah. I think it's the truest fucking statement. 
<laughs> it's true, man. It's true. Okay, yeah, you can dissect it a little further and say it doesn't buy true happiness, but I can promise you it'll make a lot of shit in your life a lot easier to deal yeah. with with yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know? It's like Cat Williams when he tries to get people to smoke weed. He's like, yeah, your life is already fucked up. Weed will make it better. But <laughs> money, you know, as fucked up as your life is, money will make your life better. It'll 100%. help certain things. It's, it's a also, freedom thing. I think it's a freedom yeah. thing. Yeah. It's just like the more money you have, it's just the more freedom you have. Of course. What you decide to do with it, I think, will determine. Yeah. And so like in a less ignorant way, like I do, you know, I do. I, I, I totally like agree with the statement. Yeah. And I just believe it's how a person like deals with the money that they get or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, with whatever. Because it's not just money. Like success can also propel you to good places too. Yeah. you know, just image. I can all do it. Yeah. But just about how you like digest it, how you like reflect and yeah. reuse it. You know, yeah. like, like that's what I think the most important say, part is. Listen, somebody told me um, if you're an evil person, you can be an evil person with ten dollars in your pocket. Yeah, or you yeah. can be an evil person with a hundred million in your pocket. You're like, still if, an yeah, evil person. He, he, I think I'm being nice. I think he said you're a cocksucker. He's you're like, cocksucker. if you can be a yeah. cocksucker with ten bucks, you'd be a See, cocksucker, cocksucker with, with 10 million. hundred million. Yeah. You know, it doesn't make it. It's it, about 100%. how you're using it and, and how yeah. it affects you in the long run. Because you could have made ten grand and then went and bought stupid shit. I could have gone and <laughs> bought oh, you blew you that. Got, yeah, like you, you know, invested in your brand. Yeah, you went and got more shades, or you went and got more clients. Yeah, because man. of that initial, let's say, investment or initial revenue that you made. Exactly. And I, it's like, oh, now I have all this money. Now I'm going to work on my website, work on this, work on that. Right. So yeah. that money was buying the brand happiness, which is you. Right. So exactly. Without without reinvesting or without that money, like, yeah, no, I would have never been able to continue growing the business. Yeah, right. Sure. And I think a lot of people forget that yeah. when they have a small business, especially if like you suddenly see a figure of money that comes in that you hadn't seen never before. Seen before yeah. You're yeah. like, act right or else. Yeah, <laughs> I have no, no word of a lie, bro. Yeah. Like this was the coolest shit ever. Like when I went to the studio to link up with Nav, yeah. um, so money music. So his like kind of right hand producer is again, just like super cool guy. Like yeah. he's, he's one of my homies. Right. So he called me to make everything happen. And when all was said and done and Nav had picked his glasses and I tally it up in my head, I'm like, holy fuck, like this is probably the biggest invoice that I'm about to yeah. prepare for yeah, somebody. Yeah. And then when the money hits the bank account, you think the same thing too. Yeah, but yeah. I honestly, I, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you I didn't have that moment where I'm like, fuck, should I just go buy a Roly? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you know, 100%. should I book this trip? Or yeah. should like, I was eyeing a watch for a while. I'm like, yeah. should I just buy it? Yeah. And then I'm like, you know what? Thank God I didn't because, yeah. you know, then everything just started to fall apart when 2020 started, <laughs> yeah. apparently. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy that I leaned to the other side and yeah. did. I bought I, I bought happiness by purchasing more inventory. You know, see my happiness. that was That's my happiness. happiness. Watching my company succeed is my happiness. Yeah, and I think I think that pretty much nails like you know the reason why we even called it this. We knew by calling this, people might be like, these guys are fucking ignorant. But it's exactly the what you just yeah. said is exactly why we did it. We kind of called it this because we're like, money can buy you happiness. Depends on what it is. And what, what you, you de what you it. determine happiness is, or yeah. what you yeah. consider to be that. Yeah, happiness, yeah, and and, right? and anyone who even listens if it's to like this. I like to travel. Well, guess what? You need money to travel. So you need money to do everything right? these so, days. In the states, apparently, you need money to fucking breathe. Yeah, you know, like yeah, it's true. So yeah, and, and and based on that, we're just like yeah. Anybody who listens to this. Uh, they're listening to it because they yeah. have that same mindset, right? Yeah. They're thinking kind of similar. Right? I like that though. I, yeah. I, I I like having that mindset because you guys are obviously now exploring it on a, exploring it on a way deeper level. Yeah. Like it's not just hey, money buys happiness. Go I mean, buy a Ferrari. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you exactly. know, exactly. but it, it, it's it's dissecting it's it deeper, further. It's, deeper it, it's much that, deeper right? than what that. What makes you happy? Great chance that you need money to buy that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 it's family, true. Love that's all different kind of stuff. But yeah, we're talking business here, right? So it, 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 exactly, and it's also because yeah, it, it, it's business. Business. Uh, I mean, people always like to bring up the idea like, oh, like, you know, there are people out there with far less that yeah. are just as happy. And like, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. And like, it helps like, it, it helps humble you in a sense so that you're like, yo, there are obviously way bigger things out there than yeah. money. Yeah. But I'm trying to build something that I can hand down to my kids. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah, trying to build something that, that goes for very long. Yeah. Like, I can't be just so obsessed with, oh, love is the best thing. Yeah. Like, yo, love doesn't pay the bills, my G. Like, <laughs> I need to. Be jump for that one. You know, bro. like, facts, facts. I gotta you get, I gotta. Ad lib, you know, you I have to get that in here. <laughs> sound, <laughs> to put it on a soundboard. Sound like, yeah. yeah. You know, like, you gotta get on your grind. Yeah. And I mean, that's just, that's just always like, what I saw just growing yeah, up around right. hustlers, whatever, just, just get on your grind. Like it, yeah, that's really yeah. what it is. You can make excuses all you want, of course. but the you're not going to, it's all around you. Like there's, there's yeah. people doing it every day and they're, they're running yeah. successful companies from nothing, nothing, from nothing. Right. And, and 
the proof is in the pudding. It's right there. Right? I think like, I think a real, you're not the first one to do it. We're not the first I, people to do I, it. It's I watched there. I watched a girl on Twitter. Twitter is also I think like one of the greatest apps. Yeah, in the one world. of my favorite yeah, platforms. Uh, it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. I got to make so many friends. Yeah. Like you know, we 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 all got to like link up. Yeah. You know, like it, it was cool. I got to make so many friends yeah. on Twitter. But then you also get to see like so many different things go on around the world. And what I saw was I watched a girl who had a cosmetics company, and I watched her run up over a million dollars in sales on her Shopify. And I think like Fucked. two weeks or something like that, Stop, you know, so it really, yo, she did this and, and this was during a fucking pandemic yeah. Yeah. and she somehow figured out the formula. She figured out the sauce to get it yeah. done. But that two weeks might have costed her two years of working at it and she finally got to it. And, and she hit like, that moment. That's no the thing. That's the other Nobody thing. Nobody knows it. She probably just started last week. Lucky, lucky girl. No. Lucky girl. Well, Chances are yeah. she's been grinding that's for two, love, three years. That's why I love like what we're trying to do here is to get yeah. the stories from people who have been doing this to understand that like that moment yeah. of luck it wasn't it wasn't luck, a moment of man. luck yeah. yeah like you know you were working and planting seeds in so many different places yeah. for that one day to happen of course you know what i mean 100%. like ultimately it, you're invested in and and obviously yeah, I, from exactly from everything you're saying i'm seeing it too you're invested in like the network more than anything yeah right? yeah and that's kind of where you're seeing it all come together now yep when different you know different people you sold glasses to are linking up both wearing well, your glasses and, and, you and it's cool saying? right yeah. you really realize how small the world is yeah. but i mean what i was like the, a cool story that like i've always wanted to tell was um to what you're saying like planting seeds and like yeah. being focused on the network right so i've been doing this for x amount of years let's call it five years now i've been doing it two yeah. to three years full time but over that time like I did give away a lot of glasses. Mm -hmm. A lot of glasses I gave to were just well-connected people. Yeah. And over the time, you know, whatever things went. And one day I, I linked up with Charlie B. Shout yeah. out to Charlie yeah, B, yeah. the goat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was one of those relationships that like was genuine and everything like that. Yeah. But, you know, we did things for each other. Yeah. We helped each other out. Yeah. And bro, I went back to the store that day. He's like, yo, do you want to come to LA tomorrow? This was like October. Damn. He's like, you want to come to LA tomorrow? I was like, oh shit. Um, <laughs> Like, yeah, like, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'd love to. He's like, okay, yo, like, this is um, where we're staying. This is the event. Um, just make sure you pack a suit. I was like, all right, perfect. Yeah. So basically what ended up happening, man, I, I got invited by, you know, I got to go as a plus one to, to Drake's birthday party Damn, in bro. LA last Come year. On. In October, oh, that was the that was the whole like mo the mafia mafiosos. theme, the mob yeah. theme thing. So yeah, he told me he's like, yo, make sure you get a mob themed yeah. suit because I was hey. helping him get a pair of glasses to just match. Like I love when people look good, and especially yeah. when they're wearing my glasses really? and it compliments yeah. it. I'm like, yo, I love this, yeah, you know. Yeah. So put together a sick Versace piece for him, and then it ended up being he's like, yo, do you want to come out to LA? And then you get out there, and I start to see all of my other clients like who I'm just kind of rocking, rocking my rocking shit. shit, and like it was just all love at that point, yeah, right? So planting those seeds ultimately resulted in yeah, bro. I got was out there in the party. I got yeah. I got to actually meet him that That's night. I was gonna ask you, Jen, you get yeah, to I him? actually got to meet him. Um, Cans was super cool. He's like, hey, uh, like he just introduced us really quickly. He's like, yo, bro, like this is the guy that did your shades, whatever, because mm -hmm. we had done something, whatever. I think back in the summer yeah, was right. when he had gotten them. Um, and yeah, bro, Drake, like humble as ever, just like daps me up. Yeah. He's like, yo, I appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, shades were dope. He's like, I was going to wear them tonight, but like, I didn't want to break it. <laughs> and then that was the first time in my life I was ever Crazy. starstruck. Yeah. Like ever. Oh yeah. man. Ever. Yeah. He's the biggest guy on the planet yeah. right now. Man. Yeah, man. Like, I, and I shit you not in that party too. Like we were, I was standing in one place with one of my other buddies and I look over and I just look up and there's just heavy security. I'm like, what the hell's going yeah. on? I look behind and like it's literally just Kylie Jenner sitting there. I'm yeah, like, what oh the God. fuck is going on? Man. Like I couldn't. Man, would you have ever imagined by giving some fucking free glasses no. away to some people that you'd be no. in, like, literally, honestly, in a room with some of the most powerful people in the world? Yeah. yeah. I, like put politicians, put that shit aside. Yeah. Like those guys have the real influence. Real influence and real power. Like, yo, that's a Never room. thought. Yeah, man. Never like, thought it would happen, crazy. man. And like I'm forever grateful to, to Ken's. I'm forever grateful to Charlie for, for making, I, for making yeah. those connections. Yeah, and, sure. you know, also like believing in me. Like they have no yeah. reason to, well, to take put, a kid well, under their wing, putting, you know? They're putting their rep on the line when they say, hey, come out. He's David. fine to Charlie come. Is, right? But like. He puts that trust in you. It, exactly. And you that. can't let them down. You cannot yeah. let them down, a lot man. Of people, a lot of people forget that, man. Yeah. A recommendation from somebody is huge. Is huge. They're putting their yeah. own... Their Reputation own, yes, on the line. They're putting their name on the line for yeah. you. So That's just on a huge scale. Like That's just... Oh, that's, scale, that's on a crazy scale. That, that was yeah. like something yeah, completely yeah, different. Yeah, 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 no, it's yeah. cool. No, no, no. This is like... this is Like, yeah. like when I watched the way like security was moving yeah. in there, I'm like, yo, this is the mob. Yeah. Like, the mob ties. Like, this is real. Like, you know what I mean? 
And so, like that experience also just kind of fueled me to like really get back to it. Once I got back home, I was like, this snap. is, so inspired, yeah, man, like, like yeah. I, I just went off. And I think what happens is like that, that stagnant thing happens to a lot of entrepreneurs. Like, yo, you do need to take a break sometimes, yeah, man. Like, like yeah. you really need to like not turn off your phone necessarily, yeah. but fuck, go somewhere and recharge a little bit, yeah. man. Yeah. Tra- tra- you travel, know, travel's travel, huge, travel's yeah. huge travel. and, and taking some time yourself. I, I'm sure everybody in the beginning of this COVID thing was like, ah, this will be a nice yeah, little break. I it's, it's, gone I a little it's gone a little too long. It's gone a little too long. Yeah, it's gone a little too long. Well, I mean, because now you're forced to also stick in the same surroundings, right? Yeah. You can't even leave, right? You can't yeah. really leave. But yeah. I do, like, you know, for anybody who's going to listen to this going forward, whether they're they're already an entrepreneur, they're looking into being an entrepreneur, like, the one thing I'll say, like, yo, you got to take time for yourself sometimes, yeah. man. Like, you really, really do. Like, even I fuck yeah. up and I don't. Yeah. Like, I realize I'm like... If you fall into, like, the whole just like, yo, I got to keep moving, I got to keep moving. Yeah, I, I feel like... Because I have this really, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I always have this like, this feeling that if I'm not working, you know, somebody else is getting to my yeah. client or somebody else is getting to that bag before me. Yeah. And like, it's not healthy to like always think like that. It, <laughs> so I, I realized, crazy. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like I was like, why the hell am I up at four o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Like answering messages yeah. right yeah, now, yeah. you know? But you find that balance. I mean, over time you find that balance because probably at the beginning of all this, you would just work till 4 a.m. Yeah. and not even think about it. Not at all. But now you're doing it and you're like, no, no, I know that I can maybe move this to tomorrow or yeah. just based on experience, right? So yeah. it's all experience that, that you, you're you're learning all the time. It's, about, it's about the best teacher, right? Exactly. Experience is the best teacher in the yeah. world. So yeah, you well, got to... I'm going to do a quick switch. Should we all just do a quick switch? Yeah, I'm looking at my gun. I need to get something. Woo, that's, how that's, that's how it looks for real. That's how it looks for real, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to get something. Switch it up a little bit. Let's go. Switch everything. Tiffany's? Some Tiffany's? Let's go. Wow, he's looking super clean in those purple ones. Oh, this, this changes everything. That's hard. This changes. See, so so that fra- that color that you're wearing right now, yeah. I took th- I took that color and I had it in this frame, and Van Vliet had wore it for his birthday. Come and on, after bro. that, Come well, on, I, like my phone wouldn't stop ringing. They're like, I need that frame. I need that yeah. frame. I was like, yo, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, it's out, bro. It's, it's gone. Done. It's, it's gone. Done. You know it's what I mean? Done. These are clean on you, though. Yeah, bro, I'm like, like, I don't know what they look like, but I know they're clean. You know they're clean. Like, my face is like, I'm seeing shit pink now. So pink, right? <laughs> rose-colored lenses. Yeah. It's a Wednesday. That was great part right there. Yeah. Got the rose pink tinted lenses. Cheers to that, my guys. You know? Fuck, man. But yeah, take, so, take time for yourself. So, I mean, bro, like fast forward today, bro, we're here. We're sitting down. We've had a good relationship with you. This is awesome, by the way. Like, I love what you guys are doing. Just na- nice neighbor- neighborhood overall, just because, well, fuck, you guys were one of the first people to actually like just give me a shot at doing this pop-up thing. Yeah. You guys like offered me help very early yeah. on, yeah, you know? Yeah. Shout out to Adrian too oh, for Adrian putting that relationship yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. You know? Who's the connector there in that? Fuck, Listen, so I, for that. For sure. Man, like, I've, I think since the first day I met you, you were just mm. a cool dude. You came in Appreciate here. Appreciate it, man. Uh, super friendly, which is always like the, the first thing I look at. And then just, yeah, you have this crazy product. I yeah. never seen anything <laughs> like it. Yeah, this man pulls up in a briefcase. Yeah. And he's like, what the these fuck is this? This guy shows up pure three briefcase. Yeah. Shit's open up his glasses. I'm just like, holy yeah. fuck. Right? That, like, that, what that's, is this? That's what you, you know? But, like, it's the wow factor. Yeah. First impressions, like, if Adrian were to ask me two days ago, two days after, I would have been, and just be like, "Oh, like, what did you think of Karun? Did you? I would just be like, what did you think of his glass? Oh, uh, he's a nice guy. That's all. That's all I took from that. Yeah, yeah I love that guy. Yeah. He came in here like, just meeting me for the first time. Pulls out a briefcase full of glasses. Says, "Take one." What? It's wow, bro. It's yeah. I like, I, and I was just like, and wow, from then on, I'm like, I like. I, I connected him with us too, and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but we've gotten from, a lot from, of stuff done. We've done a lot together, too, right? So from there, I'm just like, oh, I want to, I want to help this guy. I want to work with this guy. I want to yeah. attach him to what we're doing at any opportunity. We I can. appreciate that's, it, that's man. What we did right with the party, definitely the pop, the pop everything. We yeah. some you guys have involved me somehow, but I've yeah. learned a lot from you guys yeah. though too, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. like you guys are focused, or at least from what I gather, a lot yeah. of what you're focused mar- marketing naturally, but you guys are marketing like products that are consumed by people our age you yeah. guys are marketing yeah. services that like we need you of know course. what i mean well, yeah, we're yeah. gonna need her it, yeah exactly. exactly and so the the reason why like i guess w- it worked so well with us and why i learned so much is because like yes i could go to a marketing firm but it's gonna be 60 year old white dudes sitting there telling me what to do they don't <laughs> yeah. Want yeah. The, like you think they know what the fuck this color <laughs> is like no they don't yeah. but no. like you guys understand yeah. the demographic and yeah. stuff so I, I i love what you guys are doing and this yeah, podcast is super man. dope oh, this, this, this episode is gonna be sick yeah oh, man. Man. man i think a lot of you are gonna like this just because uh, I, I don't think there's too much out there, uh, you know, that gets this personal with you. Uh, a lot of Definitely people, not, a lot, yeah. but, but a lot of people know your brand. And, and over, I think the year that I've met you since, since like 
Fuck, your brand has grown, bro. Thank you, man. You and you're always, you're always trying you. to. Like, we have conversations all the time. Yeah. Like, Yo, I'm trying to do this. Like, when man, we're outside. This? We're outside. And you're yeah. telling us about the truck, the mobile truck. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, yeah. Innovating, though, man. And that's, and and that's huge. Trying to, Changing the space. You're adapting, you know? though. You're adapting. You're like, you see yeah. a lot of people at Trinity Bowles. You're like, how can I get my glasses at Trinity Bowles? Exactly. Yeah. How do I, like, you know, how am I, right? how do I become accessible? But, it, or but, like, but an old school person would have been like, that's a park. You sell glasses. It's not going to work out. Yeah, you need a store. You absolutely need a store. So I've seen you continuously create and adapt and just keep wanting to grow right like yeah. you could have easily just said oh my shit's with the Raptors I'm, I'm okay now let's worry about let's, go to let's worry about else. somebody else the, right? but then but then a new company could have came through and then taking that t- taking that next lion share of right? whatever it second, is yeah right so it's been it's been really impressive and, and for a brand like this it's so you, unique man and niche and and man your product and your and your Thank service you. and your experience man there's nothing like it to be I, honest i, 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 I tell people the major yeah. reason why i grind so hard bro is so that i could drink hennessy at 11 o'clock in the morning and nobody <laughs> yeah. looks at me funny yeah, well, why, bro, <laughs> you know we're, we're almost there we're almost <laughs> there you know there. and they t- they tell me they're like yo why would you i'm like i, yeah. I just like to be happy and like yeah. yo that that's, that's what's that's, that's what I, I like being with my friends you know yeah. i like doing that stuff so if if i can grind hard to like bring that to me sooner yeah fuck it like i don't i don't know your business 100 percent, but i imagine that there's days you wake up and no income comes in for the for sure for sure you know what i mean but you love what you're doing you somehow find a way like like yeah. that's that's the thing right you, you touch on a very important point i think everybody talks way too much about like the wins that they have yep. but not enough people talk about course. the big l's that they of take course. man like which are which huge, huge. Which are Bro, like huge. i just this is a story right the story, Fed, fedex just lost a package of mine that i was sending to a client that was worth like well into the like the, the four or five figures almost they lost a package oh my god so yeah insurance on that shit the insurance <laughs> they, they refused to cover it because they claimed that the package was delivered so wow. it, long it, it's it's going to be a yeah. headache going back and forth yeah. but you know you take big losses course, like yeah. that and or it's not like you're posting that on no the i no, like, no of exactly, course not right? and so, sometimes and, and actually it's funny i tweeted this like I don't know if uh, last year actually I tweeted and I was like, I hope that, you know, I do get a chance to be on a platform where I can also kind of voice like the challenges and the losses that I faced. You know what I mean? Because you ever, you see how everybody now is, um, they're pushing this like Forex stuff, right? Yeah. Oh man. And, and everybody, (laughs) when they, when they start talking about the shit, it's always about, oh my God, like, yo, I made profit today. Yo, $35 profit, hundred dollars. But they never say when they lost. Like, yo, nothing is ever that easy. And I, and I, and I absolutely despise people who sell a dream. I I hate that. You have to be transparent. Be transparent, man. man. People can see, and yo, I learned this from a lot of the street dudes that shop with me. Like, like these guys can see bullshit from a mile away. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you got to keep it a thousand with yeah, them, and yeah, like yeah. they hold you to a certain like integrity and yeah. shit. So, so it's that a was standard, this, man. It, it's, it's a standard, standard right? Yeah. Like all a man has are his balls and his word, yeah. right? That's it. So well, it matters so much. Like if someone asked you, okay, well, how long these shades gonna last me if I fucking wear them every day? And and the I could, real answer was you could bullshit them. I could. Say, oh, five six years. Yeah, but if the real answer is eight months, after that eight months, you're gonna come back to me and be pissed if I told you six years. To no, again. never again. Oh, but if you just told me oh six months, they're probably like fuck. That's not that. At least this guy told me the truth. Yeah, you know I could fuck with it whatever exactly. yeah, so, right it's so important so that, that yeah that, i yeah. hate that i just the don't L's, like people. the l's are, the L's are important. so important because that's when you're learning broadcast them man broadcast that's, the that's l's you didn't, you didn't learn from giving van fleet those shades no. you learned i learned from giving this other guy fucking five pairs yeah. of shades and never got tagged once exactly. or never got a yeah, shout yeah, out or, or or no business ever resulted go. in it that's who i learned from exactly. i didn't learn from van fleet buying 20 pairs of glasses yeah, yeah, how do you bro, learn from that but that's don't but that's probably tens i imagine tens of thousands of dollars yeah. man like yeah man. and sure i'm sure you're not tallying and fucking oh 10 15 but hey like in the long that run, shit yeah. that no one no, i definitely sees. do you know my bookkeeper gets <laughs> if i don't i'm on <laughs> no, but, that's, yeah. but that's shit that nobody sees man yeah. exactly it's like you're saying the platforms generally people are just putting their wins they're yeah. like oh yeah man crazy crazy deal i did with this guy or that guy or here's my new this or my new car my new this that like i think it's also human nature though right yeah. like we're obsessed with vanity of course right sure so sure. and not to say that it's narcissistic to be that way yeah. but i do think vanity does control like a big part of, of like course. how we behave and stuff and that's just what it is right yeah. you always want to look good when you're when people are looking yeah. at you you yeah. know like yeah. for, it's different you know we yeah. all have to i, I could have come here pull up sweatpants i don't give a fuck yeah, you guys are my dogs yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. but then there's going to be the guy who is like fuck like 
let me go cop these thousand dollar shoes. Let me do this. Let me do this. Yeah. So I, the fit looks good on yeah. camera. Yeah. My guy, you just got a CERB check. You're not supposed to yeah. be fucking spending that yeah. on yeah. 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 on drip. You know, like you that's not spend, how this you works. Just more than your serve, bro. Yeah. Like, done now. And I yeah. tell people too. I'm like, yo, you're not spending your CERB check with me. I will literally fucking tell <laughs> yeah. you to go spend your. But you're not. I'm not yeah. contributing I'm not to that it. bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm not contributing to it. it. I'm paying higher taxes. I'm not contributing yeah. to that, bro. <laughs> of course, of course. You know, but I know. but the losses that that's and what I the worst thing actually because again we're in an age now where social media is huge like yeah. fortunately un- and unfortunately i built my business huge on instagram yeah right because i think it's a quick way to interact with people and get shit done yeah but i saw the biggest l ever back in december when somebody like tried to hack my account i lost access to it but it was about when i lost access so not only are you in the slow season yeah. of december but yeah. fuck, I was right around the corner from Christmas and Boxing Day when I lost it. I remember oh, that too. Remember so that. for three and a half weeks, I had no access to my Instagram yes. at all. And I had also just spent a pretty sizable amount of money on inventory. So oh, I God. literally just had to sit there with this inventory. Yeah. yeah, I updated the website and stuff. But then it taught me the importance now of understanding like Google campaigns and, and just everything other, other else. Online, exactly, online exactly, online. exactly other, right? how important that is too, like Instagram let's say fucked you over for Big time. whatever it was with a week two weeks big time yeah but that that affected you so much just from one social platform yep. that a lot of people think oh really it's just like it's like a toy it's like it's a, a toy it, it's but, a very good point that, your that, whole that, business that, is on that thing man whole thing. Changed your whole life thing. That two weeks or even past that because maybe you could have sold more or whatever it may be but for sure that's the importance of it, right? And, Gotta and learn. Because now someone comes to you and says, oh, Instagram's just a game. You're, you're going to think of that experience. Like, no, no, no. Like, yeah. the let, did you yeah. let me tell you, yeah, yeah. this shit is not exactly. a fucking yeah. game. Well, from experience, Well, you know right? what it is, yeah, too, man. With, with Instagram uh, specifically, uh, obviously, you know, there's million and billion dollar brands that have been built off of just Instagram. Instagram. But, Fashion Nova. Yeah, Fashion Nova, Fashion perfect. A huge but, but, Pretty little thing, all these ones. Is, yep. What they forget is, is that it's not just a marketing platform. People are doing, we were talking about this yesterday on the podcast, it's uh, it's customer service as well. Yeah. How many deals, DMs. how many deals, DMs, questions, uh, shipping all questions, this questions, right? all through answering, that. Uh, all the time. Answering uh, comments it, It's like a mean, like that, kind of yeah. it's like a communication. Service, right? You have to, it, it's literally you being in the room without being there. Exactly. You know what I mean? Just because yeah. of how attached we are to our cell yeah. phones and yeah. social media and, and all of that shit. Specifically. Yeah, oh, man. So, yeah. so I, I think it's important for entrepreneurs to understand that. And what you guys are doing here is like emphasizing that, emphasizing yeah. to these guys that it is important that you have your socials in order because yeah. that's how people perceive you or that's of how course. people are going to value your brand to an extent it's your new resume it's your new reputation that's what it is if, if you came in for the first time and said hey i have a glasses company yeah. first thing you're going to show me is your instagram yep right it's a lifestyle product too yeah. it's that, oh, that that's man, yeah. that's the biggest thing is that it's not a regular consumable or a commodity it's a lifestyle product yeah. so Again, I've had a lot of just like mentors, you know, help me out. Like my dad is like my superhero and kind of gives me like really just that the nitty gritty. But then there's certain things that I can't really learn from him. And it's how to like market a lifestyle product properly. Mm -hmm. So one of my very close friends, uh, Matt Mogul, I'm sure you guys know him. Everybody everybody knows Matt in Toronto. Everybody knows him. So I like was fortunately introduced to him by another friend uh, named Dan Cabby, who's just, again, like an angel. The guy's an yeah. amazing person. He's moved out to Dubai now, but he introduced me to these guys and Matt kind of showed me like, I could take this pair of sunglasses and I could sell it for $300 or you can sell it for $600. Yeah. It's figuring out how you can actually add that value to it and it's how you market it. It's yeah. how people perceive you. So if people yes. think that, yo, people think yo he's up and he's in the right crowds and i buy from him i can be like him too exactly you know yeah tr- it goes back to the trusting it's a little manipulative whole, whole yes mm-hmm. but well of course well like you said if if i put on the pair of shades and you sell them for 300 but then ibaka puts on the shades and you sell them for a thousand people are going to be okay with those th- those you numbers see, and, and you see what i'm saying of like, course like yeah these are arbitrary numbers and maybe it doesn't add about, that much it's value more, it's, it's, a, it's a concept yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, right yeah, yeah. you're yeah. seeing ibaka's wearing them that's why they're a thousand dollars. But especially yeah. with the lifestyle product, I think it comes down to wanting to be like the person you see wearing that product, or using yeah. that product, yeah, if or supporting see, that product, or anything. If it's someone you that. love, you, you you're like, oh, I love this guy. I love his music. Or I look or, up, to him, yeah. or I look up like to him. He's the best soccer player, basketball player ever. Whatever that guy is doing, you want to be like that. Whatever he's yeah. rocking, yeah, you're like, yeah. So that's what I. Need. I'll give you guys the perfect example of that. Before we started, I was telling you how recently we got involved doing business with Cartier. Yes. Yeah. So. Cartier is one of those things where I really learned that 
people will buy it just because somebody else wore it. Yeah. That's it. You know, so the when Gunna and Young Thug dropped that video hot. Yeah. Right, like I don't know how many times Young Thug said Carte in that song and then yeah. in that album. Like I count, I think it's like yeah. sixty times, yeah. right? Yeah. That's amazing. But the demand that spiked from it was insane. Like I couldn't keep up with the demand at that point. Or you know, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. But when yeah. Pop Smoke was wearing the the like particular model, man, I was having people send me his photo. You go, oh, I need this pair. I need yeah. this pair. Yeah. And it really showed That's me crazy, that crazy. Actually, you know, That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But what I learned from that too is that. The other reason why is one, they see people that they want to be like wearing it, but everybody also knows the strength of the brand name Cartier. Of course. Yeah, right? Of course. So the goal here now for Vision Vision is to, maybe I'll never get to a point of Cartier, maybe I will, but the point is, is to have that kind of like brand recognition, to have that like solid sort of brand of following mm -hmm. that yeah. they're down with it. They're like, okay, yo, Young Dolph was wearing it and it's also from Vision. I'm with it. Of course. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? What and that saying. goes way back to, I'm sure Cartier, way back was giving it to oh, big people too for sure they man. were wearing it and, and I guess they had kinda... to build their brand over time too yeah. obviously they're at a crazy point yeah now. Cartier actually started in, like jewelry is what they're known for you right go. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they were they were high end jewelers for the royal family yeah. basically and it eventually for the royal family though. Yeah. see they're wearing it Everyone's like, the royal right? family wears it. That's my guy. And that's I in the 1800s. So it shows that the basic concepts influencer, of marketing influencer. and influencer yeah. marketing does not fucking change yeah, at yeah. all. Yeah. You, go, right? you know, so, there's a basic sauce. It's I guess just, I guess for you guys too, it's very similar or you're probably in a cold space with like jewelers in a sense. Yeah. Like is that, I think that's what I'm taking from it. You're saying yeah. the goal when it comes from like Elliot, the jeweler or whatever, like all these, these big yeah. guys that these rappers are shouting out. Yeah. Other rappers are like, yo, I don't want my change from anyone else other than Elliot guy. or yeah. other than, you know, yeah. So yeah. I guess it's probably, that's kind of what you're trying it's, to say. That, with, that's, with the, yeah. That, that's what I'm trying to do. Obviously yeah. with jewelry, like there's a, another level of customization and obviously yeah. the relationship is a sure. bit different just because of the money that gets yeah. spent, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like I'm going to have a very different relationship with a guy that I spend $50,000 with and the yeah. guy that I spend $2,000 yeah. with, you that's know, the, business wise at course, least. Sure. Right. But if I can make everybody feel like even with that five hundred dollar purchase or two hundred dollar purchase, they can that feel like the fifty thousand dollars. Fuck it, I'm I'm with it, yeah. right? Because Fast. like, yo, know, I love when that happens. You yeah. know, when I go into a store and bro, like, you walk into some places and a person won't even look at you twice, yeah. and then other places you go into and they're willing to help you, you know, without even, yeah. without any questions asked. Of and then course. you're both to buy everything. You're like, yo, I'll exactly. buy everything. In the store I'll buy right everything. I just needed some socks, but fuck <laughs> it, I'll take the jacket yeah. too yeah. while we're at it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and a person who I learned a lot from. From was uh fresh it's from yeah. get fresh company yeah, of course. jabril legend and like yeah. a just like a just like old head that knows like how to do this stuff and what of i course. learned from them was that was also providing just very good customer the service, customer service no matter who the yeah customer is. no matter who it yeah, was yeah. because you know being on queen street you know they're gonna have every walk of life of come course. in but they're not treating any of them differently yeah. it's like yo you need you want to look good fuck it i'm gonna help of you course. look good you, you never know how like how much that like People feel that. They'll yeah. walk out of there and be like, I didn't even buy anything. This guy talked to me. And he made me feel great. But now that person might come back two months later and spend five bucks. Maybe they won't. Yeah. Maybe they won't, but maybe they will. But either way, they have that that great experience in their mind. Yeah. And what did it take you? It took nothing. you nothing. It took you it took treating you what? like the next yeah. person. That's all it was. Right? It's not hard to be a good human being, man. Yeah. I don't think it's hard to be a good human being. I yeah. think there's a lot of distractions out there that, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah, of course. test a person's willpower, but it's not hard to be a decent human being, man. Smile at a person. And that, and that's like, huge with networking too. Yeah. I think the key to networking is just being a good person. That's it. If people, you can if you can do that or you are that, you'll you'll find it quite easy, I think, to build a network. People can feel that right away too, right? Like yeah. you can feel if a person is bullshitting. You can feel if something's you know right forced. Away. Usually yeah. you know yeah. right away. You know, and, and ironically enough, is we're doing a podcast right yeah. now, but have you guys ever listened to some and you're like, this is really just an awkward interaction that's going yeah, on? You know what I mean? People. Question number one. Yeah, it's like they're they're only asking it because, yeah. oh, this person had to be there, you know? Course, so I, I, I think more, this is more just like we're having a conversation. Exactly, which is the beauty of it, right? Over some vino. Over some vino, you know? So we're doing good. Now we need, we need a little bit up, more, up, you know. I knew, I knew, I, uh, I, I was onto something when I brought yeah. this bottle too. Oh, dude, we, we've been on it, you know. Um, so tell people, I guess, how to go about maybe talking to you about this, about your shades, about purchasing them. What's the process? Um, stuff like that. Maybe where to check you out. 
Um, What's the best way to reach you if they're interested? Instagram. Hey, <laughs> let's go. I let's fucking go. love Instagram. I need yeah. Mark Zuckerberg to give me an endorsement or something because, yo, I will ride and die for yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Um, but uh, seriously, yeah, it, Instagram is really the best way to get to me, man. Like, I can't tell you how many times I miss text messages of or course. phone calls and yeah. stuff. Instagram is the best way, you know, at V I J A N V I S I O N. Yeah, we'll get you up vision. on top. We'll on top that's pretty we'll sick. I like that. That's yeah, dope. I love you. how creative this <laughs> shit you. is. You know, I, I, always see, I, I, I always see guys on like YouTube doing it and I'm like, yeah, we're going to put it right there. I'm like, that's this is fucking sick. Put it there. Why not? There? Yeah. Here? We're good. All right. Sick. We're good. Put it in all those places that you can So, yeah, Instagram is the best way. Right now, obviously, you know, we're in some trying times. So, the hope is that things, you know, somewhat get a little bit better. But, for now, we have a full e-commerce website that's running. Same Amazing. thing, visionvision.com. Um, cool. I'm offering free shipping to all of my clients, Ooh, free express let's shipping. Go, let's go. Um, of course, it's a little difficult, you know, so bear with me. Some yeah. guys are getting their shit a little late, but, you know, I, I, I if I could deliver it myself, yeah. I would do it. <laughs> but, you know, like, yeah. I, I got to do other shit too, of course, right? Of course. So website, Instagram, um, shit. I'll even do FaceTime fittings with people, man. <laughs> hey, like, damn, like bro. if you want to really see how it looks that's on you, cool. like, cool. I like to think I have an average size face, yeah, <laughs> you know, okay. so, yeah, 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 yeah. so I can fit multiple yeah. shapes inside, yeah. right? Let's so, yeah. you know, I can offer those face, uh, you know, FaceTime fittings. Um, of course. Really, whatever I can do to like make that experience easy for them, yo, know, I'm, I'm with it, man. So, it, it, Instagram, email, but uh, just yeah. DM me. Just hit me in the DM. Just, just DM up. me. Don't you're, do anything else. Just you know, DM. just DM me. Um, you're also sometimes at that location in, in Richmond Hill, right? You're yeah. Yeah. So, we have a location in Hillcrest Mall. That's nice. kind of like home base. Nice. Um, so, the, the, I always tell people like without Delta Optical, there's no Vision Vision because yeah. Delta Optical is the company that my dad built. Of course. Um, so it's nice, man. I, I do get to work out of there quite nice. often. Um, it's been an advantage because people also like to shop where they have an actual storefront. Yeah. I, I learned very quickly that of they course. believe in it more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, man, once things go back to normal, we're going to have something in place where, yeah, you could just, we, we do everything actually fully by appointment only. Nice. Um, main reason for that is just, it's more personable. It gives me time to actually figure out who you are as yeah. a person and yeah. understand what will fit yeah. you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, everything is by appointment. So once, you know, things go back to normal, we'll start having people coming into the shop again and, you know, fitting them with the right frames. And uh, yeah, bro, just got to come check it out. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, Anytime. I, I, I mean, hopefully if things go well, like we're looking to open a small little boutique somewhere yeah. else as well, Amazing. just because, you know, being in a mall, honestly, like, for people who think it helps men, we're in an age now where yeah. it doesn't matter yeah. at all. Yeah, your, your foot traffic is all generated online, right? Yeah, you're not relying people on walk ins. They know where they're going. They, they know. Coming, yeah, they exactly. Come to the store because they already know. No, no longer the days you. of going to the mall to browse. For to browse. Hours. No, you're not yeah. taking a shorty to the mall anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, no. you're not pulling, it doesn't work like that no. anymore. You know, you're going for a purpose. And, and especially with what's going on now. Yeah. You better have a purpose. You're not going to wait yeah. 40 minutes, 50 minutes outside so you yeah, can walk around and exactly. aimlessly look at nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course. So, yeah, we have that one there. Uh, my dad also has a, we got one in square one nice. as well. Nice. So nice, yeah. they, they deal more in like, um, in like optical. Of course. So they, they were kind of like closer to, uh, I always want to say like a little bit more like progressive European fashions yeah. and stuff nice. like that. So just sure. kind of like out there shit, yeah, you know, yeah. that you would see in like boutique books and stuff. Dope, dope. So he does that. So we do prescriptions, a yeah. little bit of everything. Thing, so you know? is, your, is your pop still helping you with anything with, with um, Vision Vision? Yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Definitely. Like he, he has so much experience on the back end, like on the lab side of things. So yeah. when it comes to making the lenses, repairing shit, adjusting wow. shit. And the shit no one sees. Pretty the much. shit nobody sees. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. And one of the biggest things or the thing that happens the most to us, man, we bend our glasses, we break our glasses, course, whatever. Yeah. Right. So that's where he helps me out a lot Beautiful. with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But He'll also offer me kind of tips on like beyond like just the product, right? You know, he'll tell me how to, how I should, you know, be building my finances or how you should use the money in the company. Um, yeah. Yeah, business, how, in general, business, in business in general, just giving yeah. me gems on like how to do your taxes a certain yeah, way, you yeah. know? Cause I, I, had, I spoke to my cousin and he was like, we concluded that, you know, the, the, the tax, like tax law is built for entrepreneurs. Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tax laws are built for entrepreneurs. Yeah. So That's learn how to of course. learn take how to take goals. advantage of yeah. it. A thousand percent. So those are the things that he really helps me with. And yeah. then also just kind of keeps me maybe grounded. grounded isn't, yeah. yeah, like grounded, yeah. I think would be the right word to use. And he's just like, yo, man, don't let it get to your head. He's like, I've been doing this shit for 47 years, 48 years. He's like, yeah. I've seen everything. Of I've course. seen 
recessions. I've seen depressions. Yeah. I've seen it all. He's like, you you haven't even scratched the surface. And look at yet. that, and he's still going at it. Still he's going at it. it all, right? He told so, me he's like, he's like the reason I asked him because I was curious, man. My dad is my dad is much older. My dad is gonna be seventy four this year. Wow, and, wow. Okay. and so he's been grinding. Yeah, he's been going at it. <laughs> amazing. Going at it. So That's I asked amazing. him, I'm like, you know, what, like, why, why, why don't you just say, fuck it? Retired. Why? Yeah. Cool. yeah. I, I mean, you know, like, like, why, 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 why didn't you ever stop? Like, yeah. if you faced all these problems, he's like, because quitting just wasn't an option. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I was just, I love that, man. he's like, I was see, a, that sounds really cliche, that, that, that whole phrase. It right is. There. But then. You're but it's the truth. It. I'm like, living it. Like the yeah, reason why yeah. I was, I'm able to pursue this or the reason why I was able to try different things before eventually landing in this is because he never quit doing yeah, what he was doing. Exactly. Right. He it affected grinded. you. It affected you as well. Yeah. Your whole life. Right? A whole, so, all, it gives you a whole different mentality and all of that. If, so, he, if he quit once, who knows if you'd be doing this? Exactly. My dad yeah. could have. The other thing is too, right? Like, as an entrepreneur, it's fucking challenging, yeah. bro. It's yeah. the hardest thing in the yeah. world. Like, yeah, there are times where I don't see a sale for like a week. Yeah, sure. And I'm like, what is going like, like you question your you question yeah. yourself. Shit or fuck, this guy got the glasses shipped and they were broken while like just or yeah. lost the shit, man. Or the amount of times you question like think, why the fuck I think, why I think, am I still doing yeah, this? We shit. had a moment in a previous in a, in one would just be me and him, and I was just like, yo, being an entrepreneur, like it, it's not all fun and games. No. I go like it's like a constant struggle. You have to be prepared to know that listen, this is going to be up and down up and down the whole time it's it's an even emotional you, roller coaster yeah, bro. Even, even when you're yeah. up even, higher, even when yeah. you're, more, you think you're your highest point you're you, there's still things that's you're dealing with yep. that's, what the that's what, because the problems just get bigger and bigger yes. and bigger yes. that, exactly. that's the problem yeah. the problem yeah. the, you're dealing with high uh higher up people bigger transactions bigger yeah. scenarios more people more involved. complex and, and yeah, when more man. people get involved everything just gets so much oh, more complicated yeah. you know yeah. it, it, it's an it's an emotional roller coaster of course. And that's it, the thing even as an entrepreneur let's say for the first one or two years yeah if someone goes back and they're like that that first year was so hard i'm done Right. Then you, you think the first year was hard. Wait till you see oh, year three. Yeah. Wait till you see wait, year wait five. Year ten, man. Year twenty. Your 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 appreciation for the grind kind of it increases. Grows. Yeah. And your appreciation for learning off these mistakes increases. Increases so kind too. Of like, okay, hit me with something. Let's see. Okay, let's see yeah. where it goes. Yeah. And, and, and and it took me a while to get to that. And I'm still struggling with that too because like I'm a you very will. yeah man like yeah. I'm a very emotional person when it yeah. comes to my business. Like I was talking to somebody the other day. I'm like like I'm a real asshole when it comes to my business. Yeah. You know, like if you're fucking with my money. Of You'll see somebody you've baby. never seen before. That's your baby. Sure. That, that's what it is. It's yeah. like your child, yeah. right? So with, with, with that being said, I'm like, I can be a real asshole, but at least like I'm getting it done. Like yeah. I don't want other people's like opinions involved with it. Of like course. let me it's just on you. It's on you. It's on me. If it's I fail, brain. let me fail. Like if you're gonna throw something at me, throw it at me because I'll know how to deal with exactly. it. You might deal with it one way, but I'll be pissed about it. Exactly. You know? 100%. So let me just deal with the and that, bullshit. And that's how close you have to be to your brand when you're growing it as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Like you said. Don't fuck with my brand because like that's what it is, bro. Right? You want to see, right? I, and we we say this all the time. Whenever we come through obstacles, whether that's through other companies, clients, people, whatever it may be, and it's just like it can go a certain up to a certain point. But like, do not disrespect what we put in so no. much work for, yeah. right? Like not at all. That's the biggest thing, Don't. right? And and because that's when then you disrespect. Yeah, you through, disrespect right? me as a man too at that point. Yeah. You know, well, the thing like is for us, it's tough because we we. We don't necessarily sell a product. We're more a, a service. service. Yeah. So like when 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 you come at us on a service, we're like you're no, really we attacking me yeah. as a yeah, person. Yeah, you're attacking me as a person. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because my service is a result and, of and, who and I am, of right? Of course, right? Yeah. And what we do the, the team and everyone. You just feel disrespected, and you're like, we work so hard for this, right? And those are yeah. things you kind of have to be prepared for. You have to be prepared for people to let you down, disrespect yep. you, yeah. hate and, and you, you can't fuck you, whatever the fuck it it's is. It's all happen. It's gonna happen. It has to happen. Yeah. You can't. One thing I learned. Especially in the last, you know, year, year and a bit here at neighborhood, is you cannot please everybody. No, that's what it comes down to. Can't you will do not it, make every single person happy, especially in a business where, you know, for example, for you, you're selling to hundreds and thousands of people all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not every single person is gonna. Is no, gonna not everybody's gonna it. love it. Yeah. Not everybody is gonna like me. You yeah. know what I mean? Some yeah. people. I, I had a guy. It's the funniest shit ever, man. <laughs> Shout out to regulars. I fucking yeah. miss going there, oh, but man. <laughs> you know. So we threw a party there in the loft upstairs for one of my cousin's birthdays, nice. and a um, bunch of people came through. And this one guy pulled up too, and he also happened to be like in a sim in the industry in a similar facet, not the same products or anything, but okay. he's doing his own thing, killing yeah, yeah. it. Um, Sunny, shout out to Six Optics. 
Um, that's the other thing, bro. Yo, shout out to your co- shout out the competition, bro. Yeah, Without competition, man, man like yeah. you, the, you don't know if your product works. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And people can make Facts. their own decisions at the end of the day. <laughs> but he came up to me and we had a conversation, and he's like, you know, it's a it, it's a pleasure like having a conversation with you because just off social media, like I kind of thought you'd be a bit of a dick. <laughs> yeah, you know what I it's mean. Crazy. We always talk about that. And so that's what it hit me. I'm like, yeah, you know, literally, there are probably a lot of people out there who well, do not fuck with online, me, right? Yeah, that's, that's and I'm, and that's up to you. Of course, you know that's up to you to pick and choose how yeah. you like portray me but like sure. my guy i just sell glasses <laughs> yeah, like, yeah like, that's it yeah I'm that's it man i'm just trying to live sell yeah. glasses yeah. buy a lamborghini or something you yeah. know yeah. like you, you know what i like what you said like shout, shout out you know you said shout out uh, like your competition yeah for us we always do that number one this last podcast. but i think yeah but i think another yeah. thing too is like we give away a lot of the times and this guy does it like crazy on on, on his uh insta story we, we, we're like giving away the recipe free gems we're telling you yeah, yeah we're like yo this is pretty much what we do yeah. uh, or, or or at least a piece of what we'll do for your brand you should do it for yourself yeah and we're not giving it away like just for the fucking fun and games of it yeah we're giving it away a lot of the times because we know 99% of the people aren't gonna do it aren't gonna do it they're not gonna follow through they're just yeah. gonna read this shit and then be like alright oh, hey, I told you so right that's all I'm trying you, to yeah, say yeah exactly here. you can't you can't tell me that I didn't try yeah, yeah, at yeah, least yeah, right? you know but and our competition looks at that though and they're like this guy's giving away what the our, fuck our, our, our have secrets so, so, for this so have you guys have you guys ever had that though no, where you no, saw your no. competition kind of reusing the sauce no you know what it is okay I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on this a yeah, little bit. Go, but go, I don't go. I don't feel that there's um there's there's the big marketing companies in Toronto. Yeah. And then there's the super small ones, and then there's the ones who are more boutique. I don't think that we have competition. Okay. With for Jeez. what we do. Okay, feels like we talked about this. I'm not even trying. I'm not trying to be. I'm Shots not fired. To be, I'm Shots not trying to be cocky. Ba, 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 let's there's, go. There's, there's a this big guy just unloaded a clip. Community, community is a huge company. They're down the street. Yeah. Um. I, I, I don't know them though. <laughs> so. Okay. I only and, know anyways, neighborhood. Huge though. Huge agency. Huge, yeah. huge, huge, Work huge. with big clients. Um, but or that's, Samsung, not, that's not, com- that's not that. competition. That's not right. competition to us because they have a hundred employees and, and they have bigger clients and they right. can't be personal with a client. Like if you come to us and you're my client, now you're going to talk to me every day. I'm going to talk to you yep. every day. It's different there. Yep. That's, that's different. It's, it's big. It's big time. Right. So I don't see competition that way. Right. But yeah. I think it's, it's important to acknowledge showcase, it at least showcase and acknowledge and shout out these people that are in the same industry as you, because yeah. I, instead of hating on community, I rather collaborate with them. Yep. Yeah, well, we'll and, 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 we and push the industry forward and in people ways. Watching me do that, they're gonna say this guy's promoting another marketing agency. Is he crazy? Yeah. But but take a look deep down at what I'm trying to do. Here. I'm trying to create a, a bigger network here and yeah. collaborate more. Because that because then you could just once you have a bigger network, there's yeah. so many more things that you can create. Like opportunities get created of way course. faster. Well, even, like even stuff just like for example, maybe work that they can't take on now. That yeah. They're too busy. For. They'll they're send like, it hey, on you to know you. What you know what we trust these yeah. guys and what yeah. they're doing you know we trust our reputation yeah. to say hey yeah let's do these guys why the hell would I ever shit on them you know no, what I mean they're, at yeah. the end of the day there's they're, so they're much money it's just, it's just different right and, and like you said there's the world is abundant if they have yeah. a thousand clients guess what there's seven seven billion in the world you know what <laughs> I mean fine. like like yeah. that's fine. that's the way I see it like there's <laughs> yeah. more than enough yeah. bread to you go around show love and the, in the, the game, game a thousand percent is, is different than the way your competition may treat a client, right? So right. there you go, right there. If someone's going to your competition, you're going to say, that person wasn't even right for me. Right, so I was just going to say that sometimes talking about your competition or like highlighting your competition yeah. actually can work to your benefit, of right? Course. Because, you know, you have person A who has been paying attention to, you know, let's say neighborhood and then community, but once they actually have an interaction, they'll be like, oh shit, like I actually like the way things went a neighborhood like yeah. far better, you yeah. know yeah. what I mean? It, it could just be based on personal experience or, or whatever, but like anything really, yeah. right? That's why. They work with huge clients, yeah. massive, massive, right? Like we're very Toronto based, local, and and we work closely with brands. That's why I, I bigger agencies I don't see as competition. Smaller right. agencies, I don't know too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not, I'm not even trying to talk so, shit. As humbly as, as, humbly as, as, hum, as humbly I as I may, I, I just really take pride on the way that our culture is here and, and our team. Right, our team is irreplaceable. Yeah. People here are irreplaceable. That's why I say we have no competition. I'm not saying yeah. our services are better. They can have better services. Yeah. But the people here are the people. The, the, the people is what builds a company. People and are yeah. the company. You know. Yeah. 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 And we, we man we like uh, we've we've had it's like fuck so many emails come in just be like hey we'll work for you for free intern for free whatever. Uh, just to our, learn our, a bit. Our right? team our, our team right now could be. 20, 20, I, I, truthfully, I'd say around 15, 20 people. How many of you guys are on your team right now? Our full team is like eight people right now. Yeah. 
Okay. You know? Yeah. Like you, 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 you came in here when there was three people. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. And now it's eight, and we've grown, which has been great. Our team honestly could be at fifteen twenty if we took in every single person right. that that hit us up. Yeah. Uh, it's about uh, you better remember focus. someone coming into your house now, and you're like, you're gonna look yeah. at them and be yeah. like, this fucking guy better know how much wood I, work I put, I put in into here. this and the culture that I'm trying to do here because yeah. because that's everything and it's they represent the he it's can not. the glasses in and out that's fine but, but if, if you don't can, convey it the way I do yes. then you just lost everything that's yeah. the hardest part about yeah. growing a business forget the money forget the investments yeah. this that it yeah. comes down to when you want to you know invite more people into the family I'll yep. say it. forget uh, employees whatever when you want to bring someone into your family you, bring, you said you bring someone in the house you, they, yeah. they gotta like yeah. really be understanding and be able to yeah uh, uh you know give the same reputation and same vibe that it's you close. are or at least very close to it yeah it's or at least like, they because that's, share the share the same kind of like of mental course, space you know like understand the mindset you said eventually you'd love to see vision in a place where it's running on your own and you can focus on something. for sure how do you think that's gonna happen you, that's gotta, gonna you, be you gotta find the right people right and, yeah when you're bringing someone in, it's like this guy's technically replacing me almost now. Yeah, yeah. This guy yeah. better do exactly. And you gotta have a, you gotta have a lot of trust in that person yeah. too, yeah. man. Huge, right? A yeah. lot and, of trust. And, 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 and what some people forget is, at the end of the day, uh, you know, there's there's these stories and these huge entrepreneurs, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, this that. Like, these guys are the top, top, top. Top, yeah, man. Like, man, they didn't do it without having partners. No, they like, they they, 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 had, they had to give away there was somebody. pieces of their business, and that's something people get scared of. I'm gonna do this all on my own, hundred no. like, percent. Yeah, it's Bill not Gates that easy. Bro, I, fuck that. Yeah, they don't know the whole they story, they man. Plus, I, I would much rather have. 10% of a billion dollar company than 100% of a million you. dollar company. Saying, yes, bro. I love you. You know? And so, and like, so to grow. It's the truth. To grow yeah, You have to point. sacrifice, yes. man. Mark Zuckerberg's a billionaire. Does he own all of Facebook? No, he doesn't. Think about those other developers that worked early. Of They're course. billionaires too. They yeah. own fucking 5% I'm, I'm, of it. That's that's what I'm seeing, right? right? So you look at Mark and say, oh, this guy, this guy did everything right. He owns like 4 or 5%. You know, he, there's but, a, yeah. of what? That but it's, other guy. but yeah. the company is a $100 billion company. Exactly. Hell yeah, I'm down with 5 fucking percent the right things he did he, let's say it wasn't him making those decisions anyone though you don't get greedy in those situations because someone comes in and you're like this guy could really help my business but 10 percent, man no i can't do that. no i can't that's, do, that's yeah. yeah it's too rich it's too rich it. yeah 10 yeah. like, come on what if this thing blows up what if it doesn't blow up i think up, i think you're gonna, says you're gonna have 10 percent of something that doesn't matter i think right? says it in a song when, when to say when he says something about like give five percent to like one of your one of your one of your yeah, homies how hard, you know how hard he works yeah and it's like yeah, hundred percent. You can't grow a business to to the million and billion dollar marks by yourself. That's by yourself, awesome. you can. And, and I'm sure you've seen that over time, and you're just like, "Well, I'm fucking swamped right now." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. I could I mean, use an extra. I could, use, I could an use, an extra. use an extra me right now. Yeah, you yeah, know. Right? But I think the other thing too, like to not really get lost in translation, is that your team doesn't necessarily just mean who you employ, right? Of course. Yeah. It's the network of people that you work with to yes. get to your Try finished to be product yes. on your team. Right, Technically, right, like through because we happened. we we work. There's certain transactions that will yeah. happen where he is fully involved of with course. it, yeah. or or for example, like the like the labs that I go to and that I work with, or you know the my guy Alan, like literally heart of gold, this yeah. older Asian man, and he helps me. He helped te- teach me how to taught me how to cut the lenses and to fit them into frames. Right, so so these are all guys that's who your that's, that's, your your that's, your that's your team. I don't pay them; they're yeah. not on my payroll, yeah, yeah. but. Fuck, I have to work with you to get to my finished product. Of course. You know what I so, mean? Yeah. yeah, and that's a good way to look at it as well, right? Like if you look at if we look at it that way, no, our team is probably Oh, it's massive. Oh, you guys are you on our team, right? right? Like it's no, the same yeah, thing, right? Have, so yeah. we're saying like we're saying like in-house works in between these yeah, sure. yeah, four yeah. walls. But oh team team like oh, it's crazy. collaborations and, Exactly. And There's so many things, people that are out there, right? And stuff like that. Yeah, it goes on. Like a, a big thing is, and the reason why uh when you know when when I came up with the brand neighborhood was just because this guy was putting me on some shit that I wasn't even realizing. Just like taking taking advantage of your network and who's around yeah. you. Oh my god, neighborhood like that makes sense. That's what, yeah. so like we what we do ultimately beyond marketing is we are like we we like to look at ourselves as like the ultimate connectors. For sure, we're just connecting different people. For sure, uh, yeah. in, in different in different and you walks know, of you life. Know, those are the guys. Those are the guys that make the most money too, man. <laughs> yeah, you can, if, you, so. if, if you can put if you can so. put if you can put the right people in the room yeah. together yeah. and you add a few points onto yeah. that, my guy, you'll eat forever. Yeah, and that, you know? that's always been the goal, right? But so to put yourself in a position to do that, you have to have a crazy network, which. Of course. Is it time, takes time and everything and, we just and effort about. and work yep. and shit. Everything time, we just talk about. Where are we at right now? Dude, what are we at right now? 
We're at is it? Uh, hour and 20 minutes. Damn. Oh, cool. it's our longest Holy one. Holy shit. Longest hey, one, damn, dude. look at us. I, eh? I, I, I thought you were going to say, I honestly I thought you were going to say 40 minutes. I'm no, like, no, no, no. I knew it was more than 40 it hasn't, minutes. It, 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 has, it, it, it definitely hasn't felt like we were sitting here for that long. Like, no, you know, just the, no chance. No, the conversation is always organic. Just, just chill. Just chill, you know? <laughs> appreciate yeah. the wine. This, yeah, this just, right? Yeah, you know, the wine is good. I said, like, I don't know if it was you or if I told Ernesto, we didn't want to be. I was like, yo, I'm only coming to do this if I can bring a fucking. Bottle of wine. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, he's, maybe he's gonna bring Henny or some shit. <laughs> no, 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 hell no, bro. Henny is yeah. dangerous. I thought you were gonna bro. fuck us up. No like, yo, way. You might pull up with Henny. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like, yo, oh, like shit. for real, like, thank you for coming. Yeah, out, man. I thank you guys. Yeah. One, one more thing because it's like personal between me and you. And, and and when I first met you, you were so cool to me, man. I appreciate it. You, man. Same with you guys, though, man. I felt like I was walking into like just a house with my cousins. You were dope, man. Like, I told you straight up. I'm like, yo, man. I need a pair of shades. I'm having a crazy jam. Are you down? Yeah. Bro, you didn't seem... You're just like, bro, just let Pick me know one. what you want. Yeah, done. Let's yeah, get yeah, it. Done. And, and we have maybe had three and encou- two encounters at that yeah. point. I think the first time we like properly linked up was at the brunch party. Exactly. That was the first time we yeah. ever actually like proper. Yeah. I, you, were, I, you had fucked up your foot or so. You're still yeah, walking yeah, around with a cane, uh, right? Cane oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the first time we taps, properly... Yeah, yeah, King, King taps. taps. Yeah. So, so I was like... It was the first interaction. I was like, bro, this guy... Cause I, I've I've worked with brands and okay yeah. to give away a fucking cheap product that's twenty bucks okay that's fine that's like, different anyone could do that but I was looking at your guy you're telling me the prices and yeah. then you're saying yeah pick one and I'm just like <laughs> how does this work this guy yeah. fucking this guy gonna yeah. this guy gonna fucking invoice yeah, me like, later so, like I didn't give him that, my email that was great that was amazing though but that, that's one of our first encounters yeah. yeah is what I'm that's that's what I'm trying to emphasize yeah. here that was one of our first encounters and I saw that I'm like because I knew what I was doing I'm like I can help him. But for you to know that it was going to help your brand at an early stage, this is not today's day. Yeah. This is like two years ago, two and a half. Yeah, years. man. It was a while right ago. Time, yeah. Man. You knew that already. I'm like, I like this guy because he understands the importance of collaboration yep. and people, which yep. I always love. So when I seen that in you, I was just like, we, we fucking, you know, we, we, we shared like, we shared like that same sort of idea. It was yeah. like, we same, and, mindset. And same mindset, you know, yeah. it's like, you got to get the right team together. Yeah. Like he knows how to market it. Yeah. Fuck it. Like, you know, yeah, let's you get this going. Early days. Like the office of did not. Yeah, man. Like it wasn't really, any, I think over, what you guys, Might this been a table, table was just over yeah. there and that's it. You Maybe guys no carpets. No, no, there was no carpets. It was, I don't even think the yellow chair was here yet. No, there was no yellow chair. Chair, just that. There. You guys were on no, the laptops maybe. and stuff. It's yeah. crazy, though. You know? But, but that's wow. from that relationship. Adrian's just like, oh, you need to connect it work. This, cool. Yeah. You know, Adrian yeah. is also one of the sickest photographers oh, I've unreal. ever seen in my yeah. fucking yeah. life. Unreal, man. He's amazing. Bro, man. He, he, to his podcast dude, he, he shot. So, so Adrian, like, heaven sent, dude, the guy shot oh. my first, like, lookbook that I did, like, leading up to my website drop. Bro, me, Adrian, and my other like day one older brother, Darian. Darian like was like, fuck it, I'll be your model. I'm yeah. like, let's get it. Let's go. Man. So, bro, the I three remember, of us, you remember that, it. Remember that shoe, you remember that, that, shoe, right? That shoe, yeah. Bro, so we really stood out in the, Adrian was down, this guy stood out in the cold. It was yeah. like two degrees outside. We shot in fucking t shirts and everything. So, yo, shout out to Darian and Adrian for putting up with my bullshit <laughs> that day, big man. Big grinder, big grinder. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. And, and I was glad he put us in touch, course, man. Like, the, I, I'm sure we would have all met at yeah. some point. Some just point, naturally but it's like always said, the world's so small where yeah like, i'd rather have a relationship that's been growing like I, right? I love that right and and the fact that i guess we both kind of felt that that connection, connection. at the beginning right where it's like well i'm telling this guy like usually when i'm talking to someone i'm like hey let me wear a pair of shades give me a pair yeah, of shades they're more apprehensive like, about yeah, it right what the yeah fuck is this guy what did you just the say fuck to me? does he, he think three shades and i'm just like listen i'm having a party it's my party a lot of people are gonna see me a lot of photos around me right and you're like bro Shut up. Yeah, it's done. You know? <laughs> and content is the best thing ever, man. Course, like yeah. content is the best fucking thing ever. Yeah. And, and free content is even better. I'm <laughs> okay. Indian, bro. I love yeah. anything free. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My favorite number it's is free 99. <laughs> well, listen, even, even you, for example, I'm going to go back to it quickly, but you probably have so much content just piled up ready. If you yeah, man. It, but that's because of the steps you took. You said, yeah, hey, give do it, it to it. He's going to be at this party. We have a music video here. He has, he has a game there. He's going to yeah. be walking in the stadium there. Yeah. If, if if you needed, you could just look I could just go into the archives. Yeah, like I, I just we just did a sick uh, we just did a sick uh, video shoot for for Free A actually. Yeah. Had, he had a crazy track yeah. coming out, so he hollered at me. We did something, 
And again, just content that got created there, bro. Like he could have told me and yo, can you leave your entire inventory here and you don't stay? And I would have done it because of all of the content that I would have got. I couldn't create that content on my own. Of course. And and you're doing it for content, right? That's it. You're just leveraging it. You're just leveraging. Leveraging the relationships. A lot of the things we do is just for the, we have an event so we can have a video of it. That's why, right? So we can have 2000 pictures from it. Everybody is obsessed with like, like seeing how the other side lives. Yeah. You know, listen, like, listen, we throw these events, people are like, oh shit, three, four, people came out yo probably made 20 so bucks money, bro. Bro. Like, man, I didn't make I didn't make shit man, I actually racks. lost money man, we're like we're like looking through our notes at the end the next day we're like yep uh, we lost 5 G's lost 5 and G's and I like, Anna's like what the fuck did you guys just do we're like Anna, Anna shout yeah, out to we, Anna we lost 5 G's but, but then, but then we, tons of we have 2 hours of footage and 500 photos and she's right. like Oh fuck! Dude, let's do another event, and yeah. then and then it works out because yeah. now so many other things kind of come from people come from seeing it. that extra content exactly. and stuff like that. It goes back right? to it. It's your online presence, your online resume. It's your resume. Right? So yeah, it's your the, resume. The Don't fuck it up. Down with. How important is it that you can show them that Instagram and show yeah. people that have worn it and show them your different products? Yeah. Same thing for us. If we have yeah. an event and don't take a video, that event never happened. Yep. And organize your social media too. Make it yeah. like easy for people to access like yeah. that stuff. Like you, you know, people can easily share you a baka wearing those glasses. Say, I want yeah. those. How easy does that does that make that you're? Like? I didn't even have to do shit. Some yeah. other guy shared <laughs> it. No so some other guy shared it for me. You yeah. know, I'm where I didn't yeah. have to do anything. Yeah. You call me, yo, you need this? Yeah, here's the website. Like check out and it's done. Of course, and yeah, they're happy. It. They're like, yeah. it, it just makes it easier, right? Less back and forth. You didn't know about Vision. You can find out without even talking to me yeah exactly yeah, go, go on the page you can see you can right? see everything or go like you know see the people that i've worked with like yeah. so i try to just organize it too because everybody should be able to like see it quickly it's, it's your easy, portfolio easy, bro yeah. it's like it's yeah, the same thing it's just having that uh having it easily accessible and easy yeah we're lazy bastards man yeah we're hey, super we're fucking lucky lazy in that bro. Sense, man we're lucky in that sense we can be connected to the whole world without having to get out of like it blows my dad's mind because when when things were like going normally i was in the store regularly i yeah. was there most like maybe four or five days a week i was yeah. there but then there would be some days where my dad would just be like blown away like he'd be like yo Karin just came into the store for 25 minutes a guy comes in hands him a ton of cash and then he leaves yeah <laughs> and social he's media. social media yeah. and i tried i was like dad yeah. like you know it, it's because it yeah. he's still very old school so to rap when like he he, he gets it now yeah, he totally because sure. he, he sees, sees the power. He exactly sees the power he sees it now that's right the, that's what makes him take it seriously exactly you know? so it was with my mom she didn't take yeah. me seriously until i came home yeah. with 10 racks in my hand and she's like oh shit like i it's guess this life. is cool yeah. you know like yeah. you know so so my dad looks at it and he's like wow like this this really is the power of it like i you don't need a store. You don't yeah. need to pay eight thousand, nine thousand dollars a month for rent. Like yes. it, it, it blows his mind, but it's he, it's cool for him. You know, yeah. he, he has faith in like now that okay, and what you're doing, the kid yeah, knows what he's it. doing. Well, it's I, like yeah. you're you're taking over for your generation, yeah. now, right? Like okay, what? How does yeah. your generation buy these? It was because it's it, different than the way they bought the it previous off generation him. bought yeah. it, right? With them, it's much more personable. Of With course. me, I could just post it a few times, and you know, I fuck with Vijan, I'm yeah. gonna buy it, and I, that, that's what makes him happy. He's like, yo, he figured it. I was a fucking train wreck after yeah. I finished school, man. Yeah. Like. I went to school for five years, yeah. bounced around from random jobs. And I think for a period of time, he was like, hey, this guy's, this kid's not going to figure yeah, it he's out. Done. Yeah, he's he's done. like, this guy's done now. You yeah. know what I mean? And when this started really like working out, taking off, he's like, Popping okay, amazing. okay, this, this, this works, you know? Yeah. And yeah. so... The older school generation usually needs they're to so see it they're, to believe yeah. it. Bro, they're, they're so hard yeah, to they're, convince. They're not living in it, right? So no. They don't see the power no. of it, right? They don't not see that. All. Like, you maybe responding to a DM could create a new friend for Vision Vision now. Yeah. Just by yeah. doing that. Back in their day, they had to <laughs> run over to someone's house, knock on knock the door, on the door. Their home, and then impress them as fuck. Which blows my mind that yeah. there are still so many companies today still doing still that door to door marketing or still do sending oh. mail. Who the fuck checks their mail? Oh, oh man. Like, Goodness, you know please. how I feel. Like, yo, know, like, 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 are we trying? Are we? Are, 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 like, are we? Are we trying to go paperless and shit? Like, stop yeah. sending me yeah. this bullet. You know what I mean? Man, like, trust me, trust me. We're we're. Uh, it's a constant battle that we deal with. Just trying to be like, yeah. guys, you guys are really still doing that. No, yeah. you need to understand. It's, people it's, don't. You know what it is? It's, it's. I think. I. I feel like a lot of it has to do with privacy and knowing that. I know that I can be private on Instagram just based because I control sure. what I post. But you talk to my mother who's in her mid fifties. She may not understand that say, concept yeah, of like my information's all, protected. If I'm on my phone all day. That means I'm on my phone all day, and that means I'm not being private anymore. Yeah, or you're not being productive either. Or, right. Yeah. So like, yeah. that it's I use my phone to be very productive. Like, yeah. I, I try to use every app I have to the best of its ability, just at yeah. the same time. That's what that's it, what I time's the most for. valuable so asset of, right now, right? Instead of sending you a letter to your house with a with a pigeon. I can just message I'm going to send you I'm going to send you an email campaign or some oh, shit. You guys are going in. Right? My bad, so, my bad. Yeah, bro, you uh, things, you got to catch up to us. Oh fuck. I I've been loafing, eh? Oh my bad. 
That's okay. Oh. Listen, 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 guys. The best Steve, where are we at? Yeah, we're gonna finish this one off. We're, Bijan, we're gonna get you on uh, for season two. This was amazing, man. Okay. Thank you guys Yo, for real. Listen, thank listen, you guys, is there man. Anything you want to say? Yeah, yeah. Before? Spiss, spiss some, oh, yeah, please. If, if, I, if I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, people call me Nav. My album's dropping this Friday. Good intentions, <laughs> you know. Um, no, man. The only thing I'm gonna say, bro, is, is, is grind hard or find God. My yeah. one one of my homies told me that, and like I'm gonna always say, grind hard, find God, and yo, take care of yourself, man. Hug That's somebody it. you love. That's gonna be the hey. of you know, grind hard to find God. Hug go. somebody you love, I love and, and just 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 keep it funky, man. Yo, That's all it is. On that note, on that know. note, yes, Thank sir. We we out. We out. We, we the fuck out. Honey, don't get everything is true.